soon. They ain't gonna be around much longer, bro. The Israelis don't give a fuck. I don't blame them. This shit's been a long time coming. The only country that borders Palestine that could possibly help them is Egypt, and Egypt has literally constructed two border walls to keep them out. So, it's a wrap, bro. <laughs> it's a wrap. They cut off food, water, electricity, gasoline, everything. Thoughts on time to kill? It's not bad. I just need extended mags, dude. Because, like, with the higher time to kill, you just need more shots. And you run out of ammo faster. But it's not too bad, honestly. It's like an extra bullet or two. So it's nothing too dramatic. But you just tend to run out of shots faster. Because, you know, you have to put more down range to kill somebody. Did I get him? Nope. <laughs> Fuck. I've been getting, like, some really good gameplays, though, so... I got, like, whatever this kill streak is that is, like, the final one you can unlock. SAEs or whatever. I got, like, three in a row <clears throat> on High Rise earlier. So I recorded that shit. I got a couple on an estate match earlier. I don't know, but I've been doing pretty decent. It's just you got to focus a lot more in this game because, like, the maps are a lot larger. And also, I don't really have great guns at the moment. I haven't really found a weapon I'm in love with. I would say this is probably my favorite thus far, but I'd have to, like, actually experiment with the others. I wish they would have just unlocked all the attachments for each of the weapons for the beta so you could actually try them out instead of like having to grind for three hours in order to unlock them for each gun considering you know the point of a beta is to either, test either, shit. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. So it would have been nice to actually test out the weapons with all the attachments immediately but yeah, you gotta, like, grind each individual weapon to try them, which I'm not really a huge fan of. I would've liked to have been able to, like, you know, test out which weapon I want to use, considering the limited nature of the beta. Oof. That shit takes way too long to kill, bro. They just need to bring back, like, melee kills for sentry guns and equipment. You know, I think that would have been, like, a big W if they would have just brought back one-hit melees. That shit would have been fire. Like, I miss the panic knifing, bro. I truly do.
Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, dude. See what I mean? Like, that's the only part that's irritating about the time to kill. Is, like, that would have killed him in MW2, but because there's more health, you need, like, those extra fucking bullets. Because that would have been an easy kill in MW2. But because the uh, health is higher, you need more shots. That's the one thing that's throwing me off, is, like... I'm so used to, like, firing a certain amount of time and knowing, like, all right, that person should be dead. And I'm having to, like, remind myself, no, I need to stay aimed on him a little bit longer. Another thing is that's kind of irritating, which hopefully they'll fix this. The time between when you kill someone and when you get the little indicator that they're dead is way too delayed. I don't know if anybody else has felt that, but it's like, it almost feels like there's a delay sometimes when you get a kill and you get like the plus 100 on screen, it feels like that's kind of off on the timing and it doesn't feel like you get enough, I guess, heads up to stop shooting. But that might just be me. It needs to be a little snappier and popping up. But aside from that, I don't really have major gripes. I'm just like, I've never been the biggest fan of NW2's map, so that's the biggest negative for me, but, you know, I'm sure there'll be a Rust 24-7 mode, and then they'll add, like, other maps and shit like that, and then once they actually have the full catalog of MW2 maps, it won't be as bad, but, like, playing on Estate, High Rise, Estate, Favela, High Rise, Estate, Favela, Favela, then maybe a match of Rust every once in a while is kind of AIDS. I'm not really sure why they picked the fucking map lineup they did for this beta. Like, Afghan should have been there. Terminal should have been there. Rust was smart to include. I mean, shit. Even Wasteland would have been good. But, I don't know, man. It's an interesting map lineup. Yeah, Skid Row, I'm kind of neutral on. Skid Row just has the problem of extreme camping, which all of these MW2 maps do. That's a problem with MW2 in general, I felt like. Well, I mean, the game was literally designed for campers with, like, you know, overkill, or not overkill, uh, one-man army and shit like that. MW2 has always had a huge camping problem. I mean, you already got motherfuckers camping on rust. So, <laughs> they're learning. This time to kill is way too fast. I gotta talk my shit, bro. Is this dude really... Alright. I don't understand how you could say the time to kill in this game is too fast. Unless you've been playing Halo Infinite, which, let's be honest, nobody's been playing Halo Infinite. the US wants to go with to war with Israel well they're our, one of our biggest allies so it wouldn't be the most surprising thing I don't think they need like us to go to war 
they probably got this shit handled pretty easily. They probably just want equipment. So we have stuff stationed in Israel they're probably going to use anyway. Also all over Europe and the Middle East as well, so... We have a great military supply line that we can give them. No, he's not saying going to war with them. Like, as in against them. as He means, like, team up with them to, like, clear out Palestine. That's what he means. Now, Israel is, like, one of our biggest allies in the world, so... They're, like, one of those territories that's considered to be basically an unofficial, you know, U.S. territory, essentially. We use them as, like, a stronghold in the Middle East, like, region. So. They're a very strategic ally that we have. So we have a huge vested interest in keeping them, you know, safe and secure. And happy. Does Israel give anything to the U.S.? Yeah. They're like our one reliable ally in the entire mist, like Middle Eastern region, dude. They're also one of the biggest purchasers of U.S. Uh, goods. They buy all sorts of shit from us. I think after Taiwan, they're the largest purchaser of U.S. military products. So... I mean, essentially, Israel, like, in its modern capacity, only exists because the U.S. carved them out that territory after World War II, so... It's like modern-day Japan, essentially, or South Korea. You know, they kind of exist because the U.S. allows them to. You know, we set them up for success, essentially. But yeah, no, they're one of our biggest allies in the world, so especially in the Middle East region. And also, you know, like, the Western world has a uh, religious connection with Israel as well, because, you know, Judaism is like the first half of Christianity, so... We also have that in common. Yeah, unlike Ukraine, we actually have a good relationship with uh, Israel. And they've been our ally for a very long time. Ukraine has never once been considered a United States ally. We've been neutral with them, but they've never actually been our ally. Are Jewish people to be trusted? Uh, I would say so, man. Every Jewish person I've ever met has been either incredibly nice or funny as fuck, so... I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's Jewish people out there that you shouldn't trust, but I would say, in mass, they're probably pretty trustworthy people, just like any group of people.
So let's see. Trenton Lamar with the tier one membership. Big ups, man. Appreciate it. Raging Boar with the five and playing all day. Getting clapped since I haven't played COD since season five ended. Yeah, you always got to learn the new COD, but you'll get used to it. It's always like kind of a learning curve. I was doing shitty at first. I went like, I think 12 and 23 my first match. And then after that, I started popping off. So you just got to get in the feel for the new game. And then you got to figure out which weapon you like and everything like that. Pablo Herb with the five. Someone tried arguing Hamas wasn't killing civilians. People are so wild over this and in denial. Yup. I mean, at that point, dude, it's like just either, blatant, either, either like, subscribe, hatred. donate, or get the fuck out. Like, that's just blatant fucking hatred, bro. I don't know. I mean, that's like deny... I mean, not I mean, not to draw the fucking parallel, but it's kind of similar. It's like Holocaust denial, dude. Like, whether or not you believe six million people died on the fucking dot... You know, it's a provable fucking fact that, you know, Jewish people were murdered in mass in the Holocaust in Germany. So you can argue over the fucking finer details, but it's stupid to deny the existence of the event. It fucking happened. And it doesn't really matter if it was 100,000 people or 6 million people. It's still fucking terrible. <laughs> so it's like such a stupid argument. They're, like, nitpicking small little fucking details to try and invalidate the whole fucking thing, essentially. I don't know how that was a fucking assist on my part, but whatever. What?! Bro, how was that not a melee? That motherfucker had his lips pressed against my gun before I even swung. We need Commando Pro back. Oh my god. Dog, this shit's killing me. This is like some discrimination right now. I'm not a fan of that. Like, why the fuck am I aiming sideways, dude? Knock that shit off. That wasn't a double? I need some penal tration damage, I guess. Fuck, not even a hit marker? Really? Racism. Dude, this thing has no fucking range. Holy shit. My fucking pistol's better! What the fuck, man? My pistol's fucking better at range than this SMG. Thing's horrible. I like that they added the Rafika back. Or Rafika, however the fuck you say it. Alright, I have fucking scavenger on. I should've got a man though.
What's that fucking idiot doing? He's shooting at me. Alright, I finally almost have the extended mag. There we go. The SAE. Fuck. to swap that out. I hate those things. I feel dirty using it. Not a single kill? Damn, man. That's an L. Look at that drop shot and little bitch. What a pansy. Either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, oh donate, my God, or get the fuck dude. out. This fucking either, gosh. either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. I'll read the super chats in a second, guys. I'm just sweating it out right now. Apologies. Trying to get this stupid fucking extendo clip, bro. I need the drum mag for this gun. Because I think it'll be a lot better. Alright. So, Trent Lamar with the 14 months. You get a free skin for level 30. Yeah, you get a couple rewards throughout. I think a few before 30 as well. And JVT with the two who'd win, Obito versus Itachi. Uh, like in their final forms, Obito. And JVT with the two, make a poll, Terminal versus Nuketown. I don't even need to. That's an easy poll. It'll be Nuketown. The poll you're looking for is Nuketown versus Rust. That would be an actual competition. Otherwise, it would be pretty straightforward. Pablo Herb with the five. Did you see the BLM post? We support Palestine with a picture of one of the paraglide. Yup. I did, man. That shit's wild. It's fucking crazy, man. Those motherfuckers are evil, dude. Rick Rod with the five. When people say Israel owns the US, they don't know anything. It's actually the other way around. Pretty much, man. They're like one of our unofficial territories, essentially. Yeah, so you gotta get this to level 23. Oh, that's right. It's like the fucking Modern Warfare 2 unlock system. I gotta use the rival or whatever. I guess silencers are no longer busted in this game. That's a shame. That's a rip. Oops. 
Uh, let's see. Raging boar with a five. The weapon switching is a bit slow, and it's hard to see enemy indicators. Overall, I'm having fun. Of course, I'm still new to the franchise. Um, I think there's a perk for weapon switching. I don't remember what it is, but I'm pretty sure there is, like, an actual perk or, like, gear thing. Oh, fuck. State. But, yeah, I think there's, like, something you can equip that allows you to, uh, swap faster. And God Emperor Sofa King with the one gifted membership. Appreciate it, man. Big ups. Daryl's on with the two. Griffin hating COD 3 already. Well, I do hate COD 3. That game fucking blew. Call of Duty 3 is a terrible Call of Duty. That game absolutely fucking sucks. And God Emperor Sofa King with the five get the memberships. Really appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. And Pablo Herb with the five. Saw a post saying the ABK stock halted. Is that a sign the deal's closing? Yeah, this Friday, so tomorrow. That is the date, supposedly. Oh, he's up there. What a fucking little fnook. Ah, oh, shit. Dude, this map just needs to be removed from fucking existence. I don't understand why they included this in multiplayer. It's such a terrible map, dude. It's way too big. Like, this is making me feel like I'm playing Call of Duty Ghost again. With these massive fucking 6v6 maps. Call me British, this might as well be fucking Stonehenge. Alright, that's some BS. Fucking drop shot, little pussy. Dude, the scavenger pickups are really stingy in this game, too, a lot of the times. You get, like, 10 ammo sometimes, then 100 the next time. It's weird. Raging Boar with the two. I like that there's more beta items this time. Yeah, I think it's smart. It encourages people to pre-order ahead of time so they can uh, play the beta and lock stuff for day one. It's a good hype building mechanic that doesn't really cost them anything to do. I don't know why I don't have lethals anymore. I think it's some, like, you know, attachment or perk or whatever I equipped. But it's kind of weird. Dude, I'm getting my fucking ass clapped. This is not a great map to be using a fucking SMG, especially this one like, since it has like no fucking range. I probably should use that Rival or whatever. That was the preset class I was using that I actually uh, 
popped off with earlier on this map. That gun seems to do better at range. Fuck. Yeah, I just don't like this map because like 80% of it's running around looking for someone. It's kind of irritating. Like, look how far I have to fucking run. All right, luckily somebody's right here, but like, say everybody was still down there where I died. Oh, I got a fucking assist. Are you shitting me? It's like you got to run so much just to find people half the time. Ah, shit. Cocked with the reload. Yeah, I have a video, so I recorded an Assassin's Creed review, and I say that very lightly, that I'm debating about uploading, and then I want to make a video as well, which I wrote down like some fucking bullet points for it, but essentially it's going to be like the current state of the PS5 is pathetic or something like that. Oh, I didn't fucking reload, shit. But yeah, the Assassin's Creed video, I think, is like 33 minutes, so I'm going to have to like replay the final mission and record some fucking footage, which that's not that big a deal, but I need to like make time to do it. And then the PS5 video I can do whenever because I'm just going to start using, you know, this beta footage, which I recorded quite a bit today, so... Uh, let's see Tony Esquire with the five sub Griffin. How are you liking the beta so far? Um, I like the movement the time to kill. I'm not the biggest fan of but I can deal with it But I'm not a fan of the map selection. They picked for this beta I think they picked some of the worst mw2 maps available, which is very puzzling to me Like why the fuck are Afghan and terminal not in this game like for the beta? Why the fuck is a state in here, which is one of the worst maps from MW2? Not to mention fucking uh, Favela. And personally, I don't like High Rise. I know people do, but I'm not a fan. But aside from that, it's fine. I'm not really going to get too pissy over the map selection, because that'll definitely improve once launch comes around. Because if there's anything Sledgehammer likes to do, it's they like to fill up their fucking games with maps. So... That is the one silver lining, because we saw that with Vanguard, bro. They put 20 fucking maps there on day one. So, and then after that, they added, like, what, 12? So there's going to be no shortage of maps. So I'm not really worried about that. But, yeah, I just need to get used to the time to kill and everything like that. It's just an adjustment. Because it makes you have to play differently and, like, redo your, like, internal timing when you're shooting people and stuff like that. Because, you know, I'm used to shooting people in MW2 and, like, them dying after a certain amount of time. And then this, you know, it takes a little bit extra. Also, I need to unlock, like, decent weapons and attachments. Oh my god, I finally got another kill. Hell yeah. I'm getting my shit stuff this match. They're definitely going to come from that direction.
Bruh, I keep getting the cyst cucked. It's not cool. Shit. Oski Woski with the two, does your prestige levels carry over? No, I have no idea. I would imagine not. Maybe your emblems do that you earn for hitting the prestiges, but I have no clue. I would imagine they wouldn't. They'd probably have a different leveling system for this game. Would be my guess. But I would imagine you get to keep like your calling cards and like emblems and shit like that. Because all that extra stuff does carry over, so... I would imagine that would. Yeah, the side aim is fucking gay, dude. And especially once it like I don't I don't know if it like glitches or whatever, but even after you're done like sliding, sometimes your gun is still sideways and it's like, bro, why not just have it fucking ADS anyway? Why am I fucking shooting this shit like I'm in the fucking uh streets of Detroit? I don't fucking get it. But, yeah. Shit. See, if I just had, like, the extended mag, this gun would be so much better. Well, at least I got an assisted suicide on that dipshit. I just know where my limitation is right now, and it's literally the fact that I don't have enough fucking rounds in my mag. I know that for a fucking fact. Once I get the drum mag, this gun is going to be exponentially better. Ah, shit. Can't- Dude, look at that camping little fucking bitch. Jesus. This is like MW2. <laughs> The original, at least. Everybody's fucking camping. I've played in several Rust matches where motherfuckers were sitting on their fucking ass camping the entire time. And it's like, are you fucking shitting me? It's Rust. Run the fuck around. Yeah, this is like the UMP 45. I think it's called like the Striker or whatever. I'm not entirely sure, but... I think that's what this is called. But it's basically the UMP. At least that's what it looks like. But, yeah. Uh, Hunter with the nine months, do you think you'll end up liking MW3 more than MW2? Also, what are your three favorite songs and favorite album from Ye? Uh, I'd have to think about that. Favorite album's easy, Life of Pablo, but I'd have to think about songs. But, I don't know, it just depends on, you know, post-launch support if I like this game more or less. So, it really just depends. I'm just going to say it, since you're talking shit about me with your big fucking ugly mouth, you're all hateful fucking racist bigots. Fuck you and fuck your fucking podcast. Nah, I can't be bored of women because I don't interact with them. Uh, Scotty man with the five, at least you will be able to play as Nicki Minaj again. That's right, man. Absolutely. Hopefully she gets a haircut, if you know what I mean. Hell yeah. And Pablo Herb with the five, would you be interested in doing a business overview of ABK deal? Or if you want an easy video idea, do soy face video on why you aren't buying. I am buying Spider-Man 2 though. <laughs> so I can't do that. I will be streaming Spider-Man 2. 
I mean, I can make a video on it if I don't like it, which would be easy. But... I will be streaming Spider-Man 2. Day 1. Able with the 2. I hate estate. High Rise is my favorite. Really? It Bro, how the fuck did Skid Row win over Rust? That's how you know there's a bunch of fucking Zoomers on this ship. Damn. Bama Ham Yum with the two. They gonna make Makarov a soy boy in the campaign? Probably. He'll probably try to affirm trans rights. And he definitely would stand with Ukraine. Skid Row is just too campy half the time. Because there's like that one main hallway at the top of the staircases and everybody just fucking camps it. It's kind of irritating. Right here. This hallway is usually the fucking just camping spot for everyone. It's not very fun. Shit. I didn't have my hand fully on the mouse. Shit, dude. Raging Boar with the two. Glad the cosmetics carry over. Yeah, I think it's smart because it gets people to buy more. Because if I know I can use my cosmetics across multiple games, I'm more inclined to purchase them because, you know, they don't just disappear. That's what was so smart about Fortnite and their skins. You know, no one had a problem investing a shit ton of money into Fortnite skins because they knew they could use them forever. And there was like a sense of rarity to them because like, oh, if you buy the skin now, you get to use it forever, but then people in the future won't be able to get it, but then they changed that, so. But yeah, I think it's smart. I'm gonna buy that Tomb Raider pack as well. An ESG with the two, I got the Gunslinger skin and the Doom Guy gun. Nice, man. Yeah, the Doom Guy gun is really fun. That's just a fun, like, uh, special weapon. It reminds me of the EM1 from uh, Vanguard that they did, the 8 bit version. That when you'd kill someone, they would pixelate, but the gun ran at like 10 frames per second, kind of like the Super Shotgun does. So I like that type of stuff, man. People like hate on the fun cosmetics and things like that. It's like, how boring are you? Like, why are people so anti-fun in video games? Like, life ain't that serious. Like, holy shit. It messes with my immersion. It's like you're playing Call of Duty, bro. The fucking screeching seven-year-old doesn't mess with your immersion, but the fucking cosmetic does that you don't even have to use. Dude, I'm getting my shit. I need to try that other SMG. Let me see, because I need to use it anyway to get the uh, laser. Loadout. This one. Let's try this. This reminds me of the uh, Scorpion from Black Ops 2, kind of. I think is what it was called, right? Oh, fuck, dude. I couldn't see shit. Ooh, I need some attachments on this boy. That's a lot of recoil. All right.
Bruh. The fucking mag size is like my greatest downfall in this shit. Real talk. I'm so used to having my extended mags in MW2. Relearn all these fucking maps, too. Yeah, I got the little Gaby mags. Hopefully, for pre ordering or whatever, I get some double weapon XP tokens so I can uh, power level a few weapons right off the jump. So I can uh, have all the attachments I need immediately. Oh, your XP tokens carry over? Shit, I got a ton of those. I never used them in MW2 because I always forgot. So, I have a fuckload of double weapon XP tokens. Nice. Do I bump Michael Bubble? I don't know who that is. <laughs> who is Michael Bubble? I didn't think they were doing Mountain Dew double XP for this game. I thought it was Monster Energy, which I'm not buying. Yup. Dude, I've never been the biggest fan of MW2 maps. I would have preferred if they would have just done MW3 maps for MW3, but... I guess that's too much to ask. Yeah, I did fucking terrible, man. Although, we got fucking shit on in general, so... Nobody did well. Pablo Herb with the two. My favorite is Rust slash Terminal. I'm a simple guy. My favorite two MW2 maps are Rust and then uh, Afghan, probably. The new generation with the 10. Listen to. Oh, God. What the fuck is this? Anonymous Urameshi? What the fuck? Is this like Japanese rap? Definitely not a Japanese rap. Yeah. 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 Don't you ever try and touch my fit, touch my chick. 
Touch my bread, suck my dick, blood my kicks. If a nigga talk crazy, I've been feeling like fucking. I'ma crush my fist. I'm a stone cold killer with a rose gold pin up of a soul ho. Bitch, and love a soul flow. Niggas, I'm the go. Dallas to the motherfucking coast. Brought my talents to the motherfucking road. I've been rapping to my old shit. Rapping to my fans and saying, oh shit. Rapping to the events and take advantage because I'm old shit. Leader of the planet. If I plant it, then I focus. We can go to savages and ask them I'm the coldest. We can go to California, Canada, or Zone 6. People know I'm master of the crap that I've spoken. With. Even if you had a way to practice on your own shit and add it up to half of me, I happily just flow shit. Whoa, kick him my shit to the stage. DBM Gaming with the three. What's up, man? How are you doing? Gaming. <laughs> Loving the beta game of the year 2023. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Traffic beeping, screaming shit to the Jeep. I'm passing, see my action sequence and see my wrath. And know it's nothing you can do, cause it be like that. I hope you got the fucking message. I won't reply back. It's Lord Noctis. Nah, shit. How did I fuck that up? Yeah, saw that, saw that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Saw that, saw that shit. Yeah, yeah. He's coming. Hey. Bruh. He's coming. Hey, what is this shit? Hey, is this some I SoundCloud rapper you generation? Dollars, am I free? If I had the things I wanted, and imagine, am I me? If my life is made too lavish, am I? Yeah, I can't rap. I'm white. I shouldn't be allowed to. If I had it, am I happy? And it peace. Nigga, what's a peace of mind for peace of mind? Nigga, can a piece of yours compete with mine? Is it just white people shouldn't rap, dude? It's cultural appropriation. Dude, I don't know why I don't have a lethal grenade. That's really irritating. I know for a fact I didn't unequip it. It's one of my perks, I guess. But I don't remember picking one that does that. Eminem has the N-word pass? I mean, technically anybody does if they want to. You just gotta be uh, prepared to deal with a bunch of fucking screeching tards. Like, let me put it this way. If I had a fuckload of money, and basically nobody could touch me, I wouldn't give a fuck. Now, would I drop, like, the hard R? Hell nah. But would I care about saying, you know... Where is it? Nika, you... Hell no. Who gives a shit? But, we live in a society where they'll take your money and shit away and try to get you fired and like banned off everything if you dare to say a word so you know it ain't worth the risk but let's say I was like PewDiePie level or some shit like that I would not give a fuck like what is somebody gonna do What would someone actually, like, realistically do if you said it? Oh my god, you're right. Okay, whatever. Now what? Nothing. They can't touch you once you get to a certain point. And then if you got banned off of, like, fucking YouTube, you could just go to, like, Rumble or Kick or whatever and bring your massive fan base with you. So it's like... Who gives a shit?
I almost had that fucking retard. That camping, hard scoping little bitch. Oh shit. I'm dead. Yeah. I need to check. Oh no, I'm not level 20 yet. There's a like vest or whatever you get that uh gives you essentially, I think, fast hands, which is what I'm waiting for, because that's like really good. Once I get fast reloads, it's Jover, bro. I like how you basically get four perks in this game though. Pretty neat. See, I like having a big mag. I can actually shoot. Yeah, I don't know what piece of gear it is. It's something. I just know you get it at level 20. I don't remember exactly what it is. I didn't really look through the perks or anything that deeply. Which is probably why I don't have a lethal grenade right now. Cause I didn't read the perk I equipped. Ah, oh, fuck. Guess I'll just use it over there. Nice. I'll take that. Alright, well I didn't do terrible. Let's see, where am I on the fucking, uh, uh, able with the five, I recommend putting on the boots that let you full ADS while sliding, made the game feel a lot better for me, hopefully they add MW3 maps post launch, well I know they're adding advanced warfare content like the BAL 27 which is such a huge W that I'm very excited for that one but I don't know what we'll to see so let me see what is going on here all right that's equipped
Yeah, this is what I want. Reload while sprinting. That's probably going to be OP as shit. I can't unequip anything. Yeah, that's what I want. Improve, wait, deploy with uh, max ammo and improved reload speed. This is what I wanted, the gunner vest. That shit's gonna be OP as fuck. Pablo Herb with the five. Cab, you use your cosmetics no matter what team. Didn't MW2 limits? I have no clue. I would imagine it's not going to matter because there's none of that, like, faction shit in this, so. I don't think it'll matter. I would assume you can just equip your skin to whoever you want. But, I don't know. Maybe they'll split it up still. Um, let's see. Raging Boar with the two. Still got to get the Doom pack so I can flex it. Yeah, it's a fun pack, honestly. The shotgun's really fun to use on shipment. New generation with the five, the vest you put on in your loadout is the reason you have no lethals. All right, I think I fixed it now. Yeah, we Gucci. And I Siler with the five, play this. Oh big, God! Big, 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 big. Oh. Hell yeah, dude! Yeah, yeah. The hottest song of 2023, bro. <laughs> Yo, this sounds like the new Drake track. What the fuck? Yeah, Tipster probably uh, sings this when he thinks about Caffles. Oh, shit. This is unironically straighter than the actual song, though. I like a big fat dude when he wants it on my face. I like girls because I'm not straight. Yeah, this shit is fire, man. But what's crazy is it's better than the actual version, 100%. Fucking finally, man. Jeez. Fucking pussy wouldn't just commit to dying. Like, come on, bro. Just admit you're dead. Stop trying. Uh, Swear Spark with the two. Yo, Griffin, how's the beta? I hit... Wait, I already hit max level. Nice, man. I'm at level 18, so... I'm making decent progress. I played for a few hours earlier before streaming, but I didn't get a ton of time to play, unfortunately. But so far, so good. I'm just not the biggest fan of the map selection, let's just put it that way.
but that's fine. They'll fix that with the full release, but... A lot of these maps that they chose for the beta, I'm just like, why? Like, out of all the maps in MW2, Favela, fucking Estate, like, why? Why would you want to do that? I, I just don't understand it. That, to me, is puzzling. Like, Rust makes sense. Terminal would have made sense. Afghan would have made sense. But a state, bro? Like, I don't want to fucking run around for 10 minutes trying to find somebody. Ah, shit. Well, Wasteland isn't in the beta. It's just High Rise, Skid Row, Rust, Favela, and a state. Which is kind of a disappointing lineup, I'm not gonna lie. They could have been so much better. Especially if they're trying to get people to like buy this shit. I don't know. I would have picked different maps. Let me just put it that way. Ah, shit. I shit. Dude, I fucking hate Favela. It's just a camper's paradise. Just like in the fucking campaign, bro. There's a million fucking, you know, upstairs areas and windows and fucking, you know, head glitching spots. It's just literally a fucking camping paradise. Not to mention there's so many sloped hills, which if you're at the top of a hill, you shoot down and nobody can fucking see you by the time you're already dead. So it's like, I don't know. I don't like Favela. I think it's a very unbalanced map. Like, you can very easily dominate it. Like, just from spawning on the right side of the map, essentially. There's no, like, actual skill involved a lot of times with controlling that map. It's just, did you spawn on the right side of it? And then, unless the spawns flip, you're kind of just fucked. Yo, people love camping in these old MW2 maps, and I've noticed that a lot, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. MW2, back in the day, was a camper's paradise, so... It's not surprising that Legacy has carried over. Ah, fuck. Ah. Bro, what? You gotta be shitting me. Thank you. I can't afford this shit. Bobby with the two, can you play Hell on Earth front lines? I guess. What is that? I am not familiar with Hell on Earth front lines. Hey, yo, it's Hell on Earth. Who's next are going to be first? The project's front line, and the enemy is one time. I ain't got to tell you. It's right in front of your eye. And yo, what's hell on earth? Who's next are gonna be first? The projects is front line, and the enemy is one time. I ain't gotta tell you. Yo, the saga begins. Begin war. Oh, uh, let's see. Scotty Man with the five video recommendation. Yeah, I was gonna watch that at some point. I'm not sure if we'll do it tonight, but potentially, yeah. But yeah, that's on my radar to watch. 
I want to see what a synthetic man's take on Mirage is because I have a feeling he didn't like it, which I'll probably agree with this video wholeheartedly. Able with the two, the gunner vest takes away your boot perks, so. Uh, yeah, but full ammo and fast reload I feel like is better than fast movement because then I could just swap what? Shit, I don't know. I'll figure it out. It's not too bad, though. Raging Boar with the two. Vest Streak. That's right. Hell yeah. And Raging Boar with the two is again. All right. I'm going to go grind. See y'all in a bit. Have fun, man. Good luck to you. Again? Bro, I don't want to fucking play High Rise twice. I don't want to fucking play this map twice. I didn't check, but is there a uh, child predator missile kill streak in this game? I want to see if that's actually usable in this game. Not in the beta? That's fucking gay. Got him. Griffin fakes his gameplay? Then why do I suck, bro? Shouldn't I be like having some MLG pro level gameplay if I fake it? Otherwise, what would be the point? I'm not even doing that great. I like the font for like the uh, kill like points though. I think it looks nice. It looks a lot more Call of Duty than what was in MW2. Fucking finally, man. Jesus. Uh, Scotty man with the font. Oh no, I read that. We're good. Um, Scott, oh wait, no, I didn't read it. Scotty man with the five, play this cringe, lol. All right, 
I'm not crazy. Oh god. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 rap. Oh god. You can already tell this is going to be as white as fuck. It does sound like the NFL song on Fox. Dude, are you fucking shitting me? I pumped the entire mag into that fucking retard. Nah, if this was on mute, it would sound like me if I rap, because I would never. Bruh. Did he just say he drops the soap? He's right, he is a fucking nerd. Dude, there's no fucking way that didn't kill him. See, that's the one beef I have with, like, the fucking higher health. Like, that should have fucking cooked his ass, bruh. But you gotta put, like, seven shots into a motherfucker with an SMG at any sort of range, which is irritating. I don't know, dude. If I listened to this in middle school, I would have gotten bullied. socially acceptable for whites to rap, dude. It's a shame. Us crackers need to learn our place. Ew, there's a woman. Gross. How long until she mentions her vagina? Christ, and this sounds like something you would like catch your eight year old cousin listening to. Holy fuck, man. Like, if I walked in on my kids at age five listening to this shit, I'd beat them. I'd be like, get that fucking shit out of my house. I, I would smash the iPad. Dog. Ain't no fucking way. Oh, 
Uh, you generation with the fun. Oh God. Oh no! I know what this is. I just recently picked up this. I've game. heard this Call before. Duty, you may have heard of it. It's I, think, a small I, think, I think I heard about that one. Um, some friends picked it up. I got it too. I really, I really enjoyed it. You liked it. What about you? See, I didn't really like it. Uh, it's you, white I'm rap rapper, made even I'm cornier. I'll my best go, okay? I'm beginning to feel I don't like, like Post Malone. God. All the people run around with their dog, their dog. Now who thinks that this game is gonna be long gone, long gone? They say it's something new, but it's the same card, same card. But they're still trying to get me to buy the game. We gotta bust the flies, we gotta soldier slide. I shouldn't have bought, but I complied. Activision sent Google side. They're making millions of dollars off it, making everyone pump for Mars rockets, but it takes nine hours to unlock it. Damn it. I'm a fanboy, just as honest, but these motherfucking maps are big as all hell over kill, kill a haul it, kill them all with. This slippity hippity damn dog, get another one. I get stuck in a fucking rub with this miggity mud. I'll butter cut back of his butt. Cut nuts slow, yeah, yuckity yuck yuck. And a hop to prison break. I hit once with your end, they're all the same. All I wanna do is meet you in the game, cause it's your end to blame and complain. Fuck your dumb oh name. My the problem God. is, I can't even move without silencing the whole game. How could I not quit? All I hear at bombs with the pain that I'm saying, gain nothing from playing, except the head strain and a raged out brain. I think I'm Jesus done with this game. Jesus Christ. Uh, well, hey, let me tell you my opinion. This is painfully I'm white. I feel like a love car. Love car. Innovating killstreaks like a guard dog. Guard dog. You think that you can talk shit in a rap song? Rap song? Then let me tell this you is why like it's unseasoned same chicken same and, and fucking. Take a seat while I turn up the heat and tell you why. <laughs> in I fucking like music no, form. Take a look at 35 perks. So many combos and class options. Got a chem strike. Haven't even touched Black Ops 2 since. Boom! Weather forecast. Jimmy Rocket Hail. And did I mention the beautiful sights when a spawn turned around and saw. Can Mexicans female? rap? It's yeah. It's the same thing Just not white people. Sword. Even the Asians can. Just no whites. Alien invasion, we're going extinct. Need a team that isn't sick. Got some mugs to kill when you hold drill. It's like a girl with a kitchen sink. And they see the fame, wonder why it's there, so they start to complain. They say it's a mirror date, say that it's all the same, say that they're feeling great. Cause they buy it every year. Then they ask It's ironic because Rap God is already a parody of rap music in general because Eminem's white, so it's not even real rap. So making a parody of an already parody song is kind of a bold move. Listen, this game's lost the reins. You're completely out of luck. I think it's time you fix your brain, you fanboy little fuck. Oh man, become a fan. This game's gonna be a hit. You might just get achievement unlocked. You are no longer shit. I'm beginning to feel like I like cut or I can't I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Do I like it? I like the points you made though, the points were good. Fuck. Yeah, you you completely swayed me. I don't even know any I, I, I kinda like it. And, kinda and like uh it. those fish though. The fish were Oh good. the fish moved out of the way. The fi they're moving they're that swimming. was crazy. Swim swim. Fuck, bruh. Graphics. Graphics. Graphics were good. There were two graphics. Uh huh. And they Pixels. were pick like six of those. Six oh man. I'm gonna buy it again. Hey guys, got drums here. If you enjoyed this video, make I did not. Hit the thumbs for drums and hit the like button. This video took a lot of work and effort from a lot of people. Now, if you want, kill yourself. Uh, Lord Pothead Investor with the five good white rap doesn't exist, man. Literally doesn't exist. I do not like G Easy, bro. I'm not a high school girl. Dude, white rap, I think, is just women's rap. Honestly, like girls like to listen to the shit. Honestly, I think that's what it is. White rap is like rap made for women. Cause like, you know, white guys are less intimidating to them, is my guess. You know, the BBC cravings just kick in too hard when they listen to uh, real rap music. So they have to listen to white rap so they don't become obsessed with the BBC, bro.
Dude, Central C is British. That's all you need to know. Did I ever say I like Lil Pump? Hell no. Oh shit, I got shot in the asshole. Oh fuck, I got stuck. Gay. Uh, I silo with the five. All right. Bruh. And Oski Oski, I'll play yours next, man. Bobby with the 279, can you play Hate It or Love It? Yeah, give me a second. All right, if y'all are going to send a song request, I'm just not going to read them. I'll just play them. So. If I don't, like, literally read it out loud, I'm still going to play it, so don't worry about it. But if it's just a song request, I don't need to read it out. Because there's no point. Same here. Oh, wait. Pause. Big ass cock. That shit's so big that I thought he was the rock. Dwayne Johnson. I'm talking about the big ass nigga with the big ass dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck me, man, like Mr. Clean. Oh my god. That dick is so big, I thought his name was Bob. Yeah, Bob, the builder. Fuck me like a caterpillar. Cock was so big, I put his meat on the griller. Is Jack Harlow even relevant anymore? Or is he like vanished because his industry plant status wore off? Jack Harlow was 100% an industry plant. I remember he was simping for that one chick and then she like completely just like said nah. <laughs> Tupac is overrated. No, it wasn't Dua Lipa. It was the uh, it was the girl that got the uh, fucking McDonald's meal. Um, shit. It was the chick that like poured all of her. So yeah, sweetie or sweetie, however the fuck you say it. Yeah, her. You guys remember that he like. He was at like some award show and he like shot his shot and she just like laughed him off. Why did Jack Harlow even blow up? Because he's an industry plant, bro. He had enough people pushing his shit behind the scenes. Oh, this is a good one, Oski Woski. Nice choice. MW3 soundtrack is underrated.
Bro, that didn't get him? Fuck. Ah. That time to kill is just fucking me, bro. It's killing my whole flow. Yeah, I'm key. I agree. Blueface is garbage. I don't even know how that motherfucker's famous. Yeah, I know his girlfriend's crazy, but didn't he post like a picture of his baby's dick on the internet or some shit like that? Like he's equally as fucking degenerate, bro. He had one popular song, that's it. I'm trying to even remember what it was. It was like that. I didn't pray for these baguettes, I prayed for better days song, right? I don't even know what the fuck it's called. That's the only Blueface song I've ever heard. I don't even know the fucking name of it because I don't care. It wasn't good. Oh, 
let's see. Apex Predator with the two. Activision stocks halted at 94. Yup, it's going through tomorrow, so. Hopefully everyone bought and held. It's free money, essentially. Especially if you got it for like 80 bucks for that period of time while they were waiting to approve it. Let's see. Able with the two. I'm playing Lords of the Fallen in 45 minutes. Hopefully not on Xbox, man. I heard that game is like completely fucked. Like performance wise, like based on reviews. And the Xbox patch is not coming until like next week or something. You're on PS5? Alright, then you're good, because they already said they're doing the PS4, or PS5 version today, I believe. Yeah, you have all these Xbots upset that they're not prioritizing the Xbox platform. It's like, why would they? It's probably going to sell three times as many copies on PlayStation. I did not miss your super chat. If it's a song, I'm not going to read it because there's no point. We will get to it in the order they're sent, as usual. Is this 25 cent? Yup. Three nickels and a dime, bro. Lil Baby is trash, agreed. Lil Dirk is mediocre. Yeah, he has some decent songs, but overall, yeah. J. Cole is trash, agreed. Ice Spice is trash, agreed. All female rappers are trash, except Nicki. I agree. And Travis is overrated. I would say, yes, he is overrated. People consider him to be, like, the best rapper of all time, which I highly disagree with. So there you go, I'm Key. We're not so different after all. Lil Uzi is trash. I agree. How did 50 Cent fall off, I'm Key? He makes, like, what, hundreds of millions of dollars producing TV shows now? He doesn't even do fucking music anymore. Fifty Cent was the one who did that show Power and I think Empire, right? And he made a shitload of money off of those two. So he makes it he's transitioned his career into bigger shit now. Like instead of, you know, rapping, he's like producing TV shows, which is way better money. Cause instead of a studio giving him a cut, he's getting the studio cut. I don't think 50 Cent still makes music. I think he just does features and shit now, right? I have no idea, man. I've never heard anyone talk about 50 Cent dropping like a new album or something. I think he just like appears on other people's songs now. I think he just does like the occasional feature, but that's it. I love Fat Joe. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> that song, Make It Rain, bruh. That's the only Fat Joe song I know. <laughs> but that's only because of the Lil Wayne fucking uh, chorus on there. That's just fire. Fat Joe's the worst part of his own song.
Dude, modern Justin Bieber is not that bad. Old Justin Bieber is dog shit. But yeah, no, he's not that bad anymore. The shit he does with DJ Khaled is actually pretty good. Oh god, British rap. Hold on. Gross. Why are y'all sending British rap? That shit nasty. We broke away from Britain for a reason. So we didn't have to listen to this shit. Hitman in a top try, see a man topless, even a stick is gay. Hugging my brothers and say that I love them, but I don't swing that way. Dude, you can just hear the fucking knife rattling in this pocket, along with the water bottle full of acid. What happened to Ice Cube? Um, he transitioned to acting. He does a bunch of movies with Kevin Hart now, I think. Plus, he kind of got, like, blacklisted from Hollywood because he refused to fucking get the vaccine. Or wear a mask. I remember that. Hugging my brothers and say that I love them, but I don't swing that way. The man them celebrate these, the trap still running on Christmas Day. How, how can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. Hit man in a top try, see a man topless, even a stick is gay. Hugging my brothers and say that I love them, but I don't swing that way. The man them celebrate E, the trap still running on Christmas Day. Bro, they all had fucking spawn protection. That's so fucking gay. They need to get rid of that dog shit out of these games, bro. Spawn protection should not be a fucking thing. I work to get my fucking kill streak. I should be able to use it. Just because someone spawns doesn't mean I shouldn't be able to kill them. That shit's so cringe. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, let's see. Um. Fucking cough is coming back today. Shit's irritating. Dude, I'm key wants ice spice to give him pink eye. He already told us this. I have cancer, maybe. <clears throat> Holy fuck. <coughs> Um, Pond and Investor with a five video recommendation. Uh, let's see. 20 minutes. Uh, we'll see what we're doing tonight. Maybe. We can potentially watch that. We'll just see how we're doing on time. And Mechlord with the two, the four day work week. Yay or gay? Auto you. Dude, I'm. Bro, if I could work like what? What would that be? 10 hours a day instead of 8 and get an extra day off? Yeah, I think that's fine. 
Who cares? If you're getting your work done, what's the difference of working two hours extra a day or eight hours for another day? It's still the same amount of time. So, I don't see an issue with that. Although, I would still opt to work all five days and get overtime. Uh, I would trade... I would trade pretty much any Call of Duty for MW3 to be relevant again. Like, if we got a true remake of MW3... Uh, yeah, I would probably trade, like, any COD. God, I forgot to use the other class. Fuck. Alright, you generation, we'll do your song. This is a song for the chat, apparently. Ooh, I agree with the title. This is pretty accurate. Especially for I'm Key, bruh. That's why, uh, Violet Myers will never love him. It's called Broke Bitch. I don't know. I've never heard this song before, but I like the title because it reminds me of you, I'm Key. Is this YouTube rap? I don't know. I've never heard this shit in my life, bro. <laughs> this is you generation, so apparently he's listening to a YouTuber rap, bro. Uh, able with the five, I'm starting a new job soon. It's a full-time night shift from 10.30 p.m. to 7 a.m. Sucks because I won't be able to join the streams, but I'm getting the bag. Nice, man. Hopefully it pays well. Yeah, some places will pay you extra for working, like, the night shift, because most people don't want to do it. Would I work in politics if given the chance? Um, probably not because it doesn't pay very well. You're only allowed to pay campaign staffers so much, so probably not. <clears throat> But let's say theoretically I can make like 400k a year doing it, sure. Why not? I'd pretty much do any job for 400k a year. Mm, let's see. It's video recommendation. God.
Mech Lord with the two how to make gears great again. Get rid of the women. Get rid of the new characters. Uh, make Marcus the main character again. Focus on actual gritty, gory combat. Prioritize multiplayer engagement. Uh, that's kind of just a start. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could do. <laughs> Get rid of the women? That's right. It's Dude, the tagline of Gears 3 was Brothers to the End, not Scissors Sisters Unite. Like, nobody fucking cares about the women of Gears. Dude, Gears 3 was based. You literally... <laughs> you spend the entire game trying to kill a woman, dude. Essentially, women were the problem with the Gears of War universe. Yeah, but didn't 21 Savage basically live in the U.S. for pretty much his entire life? He's from the U.K., but he grew up in the U.S. Because <laughs> apparently he left the United States for like the first time in a very long time recently. I saw that headline on Instagram. Yeah, Drake had 21 talking like a fucking Pokemon on that song, bro. Hoping I can get that laser sight soon. I need that shit.
<clears throat> Almost. I used to play with Valeria and Gears 3. No, I used to play with Queen Mira. That or the Savage Cantus. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to remember who I played as for like the Cog in Gears 3. I think I just played as Marcus, but I don't remember. Oh, no, I think... Wasn't the guy named Griffin in fucking Gears 3 multiple? I think I played as him. If I remember correctly. I know there was the guy in Campaign. I'm trying to remember if he was also in multiplayer. I think I played as him. Either that or I think I played as Anya. Because, like, the chicks had, you know, a smaller form factor, which made it harder to find you when you're behind cover. You had the same hitbox, but you weren't as visible. Playing as the girl. Blame Truth is a retard. You didn't have to censor that. Uh, you generation with the five, listen, you're gonna love this. That means I'm gonna hate it. Hollywood Undead Idol? <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god. This is trailer park music. This is the type of shit that rednecks light meth do. <clears throat> oh, he's just a gangster, bro. You're fucking white, dude. You ain't a gangster. Oh my god. What is this fucking homo shit, bro? This is definitely... It's time to fire up the meth pipe, boys. It's like what you expect to see, like, some trailer park trash sitting next to his, uh... His bro saying... Damn, bruh, your sister's looking pretty hot. He goes, that's your sister too, you dumbass. That's the fucking energy we have here. He's just a gangster. Guys, I'm just a gangster! <laughs> Bruh! What is this fucking Skrillex metal bullshit? Him, young with the two blame truth says this is the best cod in five years well he's already saying that this is some of the best cod gameplay he's ever experienced so stay tuned Still no fucking red dot, or not red dot, laser.
Timothy Marco with the two. Sup, Ninjas. Been playing Ace Attorney really good. Yeah, I've heard those games are kind of interesting. I've never got around to playing it, though. Dude, look at this shit. Two terrible maps. I'm going to pick the smaller one, but I'm not happy about it. Dude, this shit is fucking horrible. I ain't right, old kid. Dude, this is fucking meth lab trailer park music. This is the type of energy of like a 23 year old man getting a boner for his 14 year old sister. That's exactly the energy that's portrayed in that song. Uh, Infamous Fool with the five. We need some good music. Uh oh. All right, this is definitely an improvement. I would get nervous whenever someone says good music because I don't believe them. Griffin got a point. That's what I'm saying, bro. Mm. I hate this map. This is literally a camper's paradise map, dude. Alright, I do not know how I did not kill that guy, but whatever. We'll keep it moving. Yeah, Kanye's got two albums cooking right now, so... We'll see if he can mount the comeback. The new album is probably going to be called Use. <laughs> so you already know that shit's going to be wild. His last album did not flop. What album flopped on key? The Donda album was what? 400k in the first week? And then 200k the second week? That's not a flop. <laughs> I guess Drake is gonna flop because that's what his new album's projected to fucking sell. 400k first week. So is that a flop now, I'm key? What about Drake's album that only got 200? Is that a flop? This map fucking sucks! I hate this shit with a fucking passion, bro. It's just like that shitty fucking campaign mission.
Look at that fucking tar trying to steal my kill. That didn't get him? Fuck, man. You're fucking shitting me. Bro, I put like 10 fucking shots into that retard total. What the fuck? This thing is either a fucking pea shooter. Or I don't fucking know. Like, damn. <clears throat> I think this thing's just a fucking pea shooter, bro. Because he's at point blank right there. That should have definitely killed him. Like, that took 13 bullets right there to get that one kill. That took eight. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, it's just like the shitty fucking campaign mission. They're in the fucking trees. They're on the rooftops, they're in the windows, they're in the fucking houses. You literally can't get away from anyone. Alright, bro, I was about to get pissed if he turned on me. Oh, I'm not using voice chat, because the thing is, is the fucking AI, for one. And two, I'm not trying to get fucking banned from YouTube, because somebody drops the N-bomb or some shit like that. <clears throat> I can imagine the fucking game chat on this is pretty bad <laughs> right now. There we go. There we are. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, where am I getting shot from? Oh. So, let's 
let's see. Oski Woski with the five. This is literally the worst song you'll ever hear in your life. Reverse psychology. I don't know. What the hell? Now I hate it, dude. You ruined... No, I'm just kidding. Groovy with the two. It's going to be another My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy situation. Well, who knows, man? You never know. It could be. Uh, an Ice Siler with the five. Oh, God. More PsyOps, bro. I can already tell. Let's we'll see. Yep. Everyday Karina. Hell yeah, dude. If she was a foreign country, I'd invade her. Genesec King revived with the two. Did you see Scuff's new PC control? Yeah, it looks pretty nice. It's got those macro keys or whatever on it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. And I like the fact that it's like an actual dedicated wired controller instead of being detachable. I sell it with the five dog. I've already been hearing the hard R all day. Even I've been saying it. Classic COD lol. That's good to hear, man. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, it's back in full effect. Britman with the five try Dutch Aveli. I'll call you back. Oh, you mean like the song? Yeah, I gotcha. I will play that and uh, I think we got one more song after this one and then I'll do that. Appreciate it, man. I don't know why it has like a little 10 next to your uh, super chat, but happy 10th birthday. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. This is you generations, by the way, guys, so. What the fuck is this shit? The white version of Heartless? <clears throat> white people need to sit the fuck down, bro. They've gone too far now. Fucking horrible. This sounds like fucking grocery store music. Yeah, let me go grab some eggs real quick. Yep, white people do ruin everything, man. Real talk. Dude, this guy should just kill himself if he feels that sad. Yeah, 
Dude, I'm gonna have to genocide my own race. This is too far. Dude, I think this is a greater offense against black people than slavery. Real talk. This is wild. This isn't Ed Sheeran, it's The Fray. As in, they should be afraid to start their car tomorrow morning. It's a joke, guys. I'm the only one on my team that went positive. Gaming. Oh, I'm sure the comments are fucking soy. Like, oh, this is so beautiful. I still love this song. There's something addictive about it. This particular version. Yeah, just say you hate black people, dude. Fucking racist piece of shit. I'm tempted to reply to their fucking comment and just say, shut up, racist. But I'm not even going to dignify that whitey with a response. Fuck them. I can't afford this shit! Yeah, that's right, dude. I'm just going to say it. Since you're talking shit about me with your big fucking ugly mouth, you're all hateful fucking racist bigots. Fuck you and fuck your fucking podcast. Real talk. <clears throat> They did colonize the song. some wayism fuck I was hoping to fucking you know kill that guy Ariel but no Griffin listens to net nobody don't know who the fuck that is <laughs> You generation, the fact that you know who that is and I don't means that, like, you're much worse than me. Just the fact that you know who that is and I don't already makes you worse than me. Prince Harry has bars. That's right, dude.
It's Sky does mine. I, I don't know who that is. I don't watch Minecraft people. ESG with a 2, the Doom Shotgun and MW2 is really fun to use. Agreed. It is fun. Fuck. WAP is the best rap song, prove me wrong. Um Hmm. Gucci gang clears. Yeah, it clears the room because nobody wants to listen to that shit. Fuck. Good, I got that fucker. It's about to be pissed. Check your bloody fire. Hell yeah. All right, where are we at? There it is. Yeah, bro, that's the moment you know that you can't take a COD person's opinion seriously. Is like when some ordinary gamers was like, dude, Rust is just way too chaotic for a 6v6 map. That's how you know a motherfucker is a fake COD fan and any opinion they have on Call of Duty should not be fucking listened to for even a second. Nuketown better, bruh. Nuketown is trash tier. Oh, I fell. Oop. Bro, Rust is the default 1v1 map of Call of Duty.
Fuck. Airspace too crowded. Uh, someone just haul one in. Guess so. Shit, I killed myself. Gay. There we go. Shitting me? Fuck, I was one kill off from the SAE. Or the lightning strike, whatever you want to call it. Shit. That fucking sucks. Save that video clip. I need some footage for that PS5 video I want to make. Oh, no fucking chance, bruh. It's not just on the slim, it's on the current state of PlayStation, basically. But yeah, that'll be part of it. It'll be like a section. Reverse boost? Nah, I don't really give a fuck. You'll never get better at the game if you reverse boost. You just gotta tough it out and, you know, deal with it, and then you'll eventually get the hang of it, and you'll learn to play against higher level players. Like, I don't know. I've never felt the need to reverse boost. Like, you have some good games, you have some bad games. It ain't that big a deal. I mean, I'm not trying to go pro, so I don't really give a fuck about my KD. Like, it doesn't really matter. It's just a wee bit of fun on Call of Duty. Ah, oh, shit. Yo, motherfuckers claim the game sucks because they can't go 40 and 0 every match. Four babies. My heart truly breaks for them.
Oh, it's still not level nine. Fuck. Uh, Lord Danielson with a five sledgehammer really hit it out of the park with this COD, in my opinion. Gameplay feels smooth and fluid. Gonna upgrade to Vault Edition. Nice, man. Yeah, I went ahead and picked it up. I sold some CSGO skins, so I didn't even have to buy it. Nice. 58 is cold, huh? You mean outside? Yeah, that is cold. Britman with the five. Last one, Tion Wayne. Uh, the second video. Um, and the ten was my tenth super chat. I'm tw oh, okay, shit. Yeah, I was wondering what the ten was for. I guess they're now keeping track of how many chats people do. That's kind of creepy, but not really. Uh, Shadow Evil with the five. Tomorrow, I'm going to donate 100 to play through Advanced Warfare Campaign. Um, I will not be playing through the Advanced Warfare Campaign tomorrow, bro. It's the... Uh, COD beta right now and that's all I'm playing so if you want to do that I'll play it one night on stream but I'm not doing it while the beta is live Broke at the moment. Listen to Vector to the Heaven by Yoko Shinomura. I think you sent that one last night, but all right. Uh, Lord Pothead Investor with the two. This time to kill his ass. It's definitely hard to adjust to. You need extended mags. Like, that's a requirement in this game. You 100% need extended mags because the amount of fucking shots it takes to kill someone is way more than MW2. Like, you're going from, like, five shots to, like, eight to ten. So, you empty your mags so quickly just going after one or two guys. When you wait, when your girl puts her thumb up your bum, can't say I can relate to that one, man. Did it feel good, though? There we go. Level up. Uh, I Siler with the five. Oh god. 
<laughs> Bruh. I have a feeling what it is. I see shorts in the URL. Uh, Brit man with the two as a British lobe. Wait, as a British lub, the chat. Wait, the hate in the chat on our rap. You mean love? This one honestly isn't that bad. I'm gonna be honest. This is way better than that uh white guy somebody sent earlier. I don't remember who it was, but this one was not that bad. We need to listen to our boy K Hell no, dude. YouTube rap is a no-go. YouTube rap is fucking horrible, bro. They need to stay in their lanes of making shitty prank videos and cringe fucking challenges. Thoughts on YouTube cracking down on ad block? Well, they need to fucking sell more ads, so. Makes sense. I mean, you're using their website for free, so it's not surprising they want you to watch ads. It's not cheap running a uh, website like YouTube. But, I mean, honestly, I would just get premium. I think it's worth the price, personally. I think YouTube premium is well worth the subscription. Isn't Spotify raising their price for no fucking reason at all? It's like 20 bucks a month now or something. Yeah, if they raise their price to 20 bucks, I'm just going to start using the Apple Music subscription I've been paying for but haven't ever bothered to open. Dude, I literally bought an Apple Music subscription to watch, like, those Kanye listening parties, like, two years ago, and I never fucking canceled it because I'm just really lazy when it comes to subscriptions. So maybe I'll just switch to that if Spotify wants to fuck around and charge, you know, $20 a month. Yeah, I don't really listen to lesser known music, so should be fine. I hate Spotify's like radio feature. Like it sucks. They literally play the same fucking shit over and over again in the exact same order. And like say you're listening to a particular artist, like every four songs it alternates back to that artist. Like it's really fucking annoying. Like you basically have to skip through like three to four songs that are absolute dog shit until you get to another song from the actual person you want to fucking listen to. Yeah, I've had a, uh, I still have my uh, fucking Crunchyroll subscription from like 2017. <laughs> I've never canceled that either. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Um, I have an old gym membership too that I haven't canceled, but that's only like 15 bucks a month, so I don't really care. Yeah, I don't make playlists on Spotify. I just like the songs. Or just use the uh, search feature. And then let it just recommend after that. 
Uh, surprisingly, I don't use OnlyFans, so... Thankfully, none. Dude, I just don't want to pay for porn. That's such an L. I, like, absolutely refuse. The only way I would pay for OnlyFans is if I knew the person who I was subscribing to in person, just out of curiosity. Like, if it was some chick I went to high school or college with... Or someone I worked with, or whatever. Like, I would buy it just out of pure, like, pure curiosity, you know? I wouldn't give a fuck about, like, actually, you know, being like, oh my god, I'm gonna vigorously beat my fucking meat. I would just buy it to be like, oh shit. That's funny. But yeah, if it's like some random chick on the internet, I literally don't fucking care. You can literally see a million chicks naked, and who cares if you don't see that particular one? You know? I just don't understand, like, putting, you know, the pussy on a pedestal, literally, just because it's some random chick on the internet who's never gonna even fucking speak to you unless there's, like, a hundred dollar donation attached to it. Yeah, like, if your friend's mom or your friend's sister or someone like that did it, then, yeah, I would, like, pay for that, you know? Because I would just be curious. But I wouldn't, like, use my actual name or anything, so they'd never know I paid for it. But, yeah, I would do it out of curiosity. Apparently, Brazzers has, like, I think 20 million subscribers or something. Like, those porn sites are mad fucking money printers. Dude, the porn industry is a massive fucking business. But you gotta remember, too, that, uh, basically they put out a video every day. So, it's not like they're just, like, putting out a video every month or something like that. They're producing multiple videos a day. Like, it's a full-blown production over there, so they probably spend a ton of money producing content. But in turn, they get a bunch of people to subscribe. Uh, Britman with the two ASAP Rocky. Gotcha, man. Damn, bro. I should open an OnlyFans. Uh, I don't really think many people are interested in male OnlyFans. Chicks don't have the same attraction to porn that guys do. Like, most girls never want to get fucking nudes from a dude, but pretty much any dude wants to get nudes from a chick. It's not like the same thing, essentially. They look at it very differently than we do. Yeah, I'm a yoga instructor, guys, but actually I'm an internet whore. That fucking video, bro. Don't 
Uh, you generation with the 10 react to if we have time. All right, I'll pull up in a second. Pew. Oof. Yeah, there's like three guys in front of me. Oh, what? Damn, man. Uh, King Samuel with the five. Hello, Griff and Chad. The job interview went well, but I had to decline it because the hours sucked. On the job search again, also play Good Egg Galaxy. What do you mean the hours sucked? Like you'd have to work nights or something? Or like super early in the morning? If so, I can kind of understand that. Especially if you're going to school at the same time. Um, let me see. Open um, then... Good egg. Let's see. Oh, damn, man. I got like a fucking mosquito bite or some shit on my fucking hand. It's irritating. Fuck. What the hell is that? A hunter killer drone? When the fuck did they add that to modern warfare? Assist? Bro. I was all up in his fucking junk. Pumping him full of hot lead. And they gave me the assist? The fuck?
No fucking way, dude. Seriously? Ain't no way. See, I wish, wish in a situation like that I could see how much damage I actually fucking did. Because there's no fucking way that guy walked that shit off. Ain't no way. Like, I'm pressing X to down on that shit that he didn't actually get fucking killed. See Midnight Mall while with the five Griffin. Can you share the big load of PS5 and on the parking? Sound effects from Dreamcast guy on Discord. Um, yeah, just send me a message on there so it gets bumped up. You can send them after the stream or sometime tomorrow. Britman with the two. Thanks, Griff. Promise last one. Okay. Copy and I saw her with the five, <laughs> bruh. bruh. <laughs> no one can ever accuse you of not having a type I Siler. That's all I can say. No one can. I'm key. You need to get your standards up, bro. Violet Myers is not the way to go. My type is a nice, normal looking girl, dude. Not a fucking literal human fuck doll like Violet Myers with a donkey face. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way. I call bull- Bro! Are you shitting me? Oh my god. What the fuck, bro? Those G18s are fucking busted. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? Those things are like god tier. Bro, I swear to god. What the fuck? I need to get out of that hallway, I guess. 
Dude, what? I didn't even barely damage him. I don't know, bro. These SMGs have zero fucking damage at any sort of, like, medium to long range. The fucking damage drop is horrible. I mean, even at close range, they don't really... Do How? Ain't no fucking way, dude. He shot me four times. I shot him at least six. This shit's some wasteism. That is some fucking wasteism, bruh. I don't know. I am not using battle rifles. I hate battle rifles. Yeah, I'm gonna sue him for discrimination, man. On the basis of gun choice. For favoring one class of weapons over another. That's wasteism. I'm gonna be like that annoying like little kid that goes, That's racist! You know what? Actually, now that I think about it, that's probably what I'm key was as a child. Now that I think about it, that kid that screams, That's racist! That literally is probably I'm key, guys. That was his start to being an internet persona. Yeah, this gun does kind of suck. It's not very good, which is a shame because the Black Ops 2 version of it is very good. It's like the Scorpion, I think is what it's called from Black Ops 2. That's what it looks like. But yeah. Well, I think I already have the laser, so I don't really need to use this anymore. Let me see. Uh, loadouts. Edit. Mm. Oh, yeah, I do have it. Cool. So I can get rid of that. Oh, let me see this too. Barrel. Yeah, see, there's no, like, actual barrel that does, like, you know, damage range or bullet velocity anymore. Oh, I guess that kind of does. Alright, let's try that. The loadout will change the next time you spawn. Damn, bro. Assist cocked. I mean, part of it also just has to do with the fact that I have to get used to the, like, higher time to kill, which I'm not a fan of, personally, but... I just have to get used to it. Alright, I was about to get pissed, bro. No fucking... Oh, he had a shotgun. Never mind. I can accept that. Yeah, he had a shotgun. If they have a shotgun, I can't really say much about them fucking point blanking me, but... Fucking pistols and shit? Hell no. Nah. Oh shit, dude, we got a Bella Danger in the game. I'm Key, are you a fan of her too or nah? Is she not ugly enough for you? Next car point. 
I'm such a tryhard. That's right, man. I gotta give it my best shot. Believe it. Dude, how are they still flanking us all the fucking time? Damn. Hell yeah, dude. It's like fucking freeze tag. Just run around the map for 40 fucking seconds. Yeah, I really have to wonder why they picked these fucking maps from all of the maps in MW2 to put in the beta. Like, these are some of the worst maps from MW2. I don't fucking understand it. Uh, you generation with the five here. Okay, kids. Today's magic number is gonna be the number nine. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Oh, hello, son. I really wish I knew you. I'm your father, you'll probably never be introduced to. You'll only see me on TV or maybe YouTube. But now I know your mama is probably dating some new dude. So, how you liking Earth? Are you loving your existence? I wasn't at your birth. Cause your mother made me miss it. I tried to get a visa. I applied and they denied it. Cause your mama told the police that I beat her. She was lying. And now I'm banned for something bad that I ain't even do. There's a lot of land and water separating me and you. You are far away in Australia and I am in America. So I cannot be there to do all of the things a parent does. This is my attempt at me raising you from a distance. You have oxen in your blood. You were special and you were gifted. The punishment your mother has given me doesn't seem fair. Just know I love you, son. And I'm wishing that I could be there. This shitty fucking map. What the fuck is this song, dude? This is some corny ass wannabe storyteller shit. We gonna be together somehow in the end. I am very ashamed that you don't have my last name. Every night 
I go to bed and I'm feeling this wicked pain because our lives could have been so good, but mom had to fuck it all up. And now your daddy doesn't fuck with your mama. Hell no, no, daddy doesn't fuck with your mama. You know what time it is, son. Our lives could have been so good, but mama had to fuck it all up. That's right. And that's why daddy doesn't fuck with my mama. Daddy doesn't fuck with who? Daddy doesn't fuck with my mama. Oh yeah, man. Daddy don't fuck with my mama. Hell yeah. This is so relatable, man. Oh, this just speaks to my soul. Let's go, dude. Get fucking bitch slapped. This is like some fucking gay wannabe, like emotional rap. I don't fucking know, man. Jump! Holy fuck, dude. Jump! Yeah, I know. It wouldn't let me clamber on those stairs. I don't know what the fuck was going on with that. I just wish they would get rid of this map, bro. <laughs> Honestly. I really just strongly dislike this fucking map. It's way too big. Like, unless you constantly have a UAV active and they're not using Ghost, you're gonna be just running around the majority of the match trying to find someone to fucking kill. And I guarantee you most matches in this game, once it comes out, will end with the fucking game timing out in pretty much every other mode except TDM. Because nobody's gonna be able to do enough fucking objectives in the time limit because nobody's gonna be able to find each other and even if they do, they're not going to run halfway across the map to go pick up a dog tag or something like that. So. I don't like these fucking massive ass maps. It's like, get this shit out of here, bro. Just admit it was a design mistake. Remove it from the game.
Oh, fuck, man. Let me use my kill streak in peace. Yep, nothing. Fucking gay, dude. What's your buck? Bruh. Damn, my back hurts, bro. Jesus. My fucking back hurts from that match. Damn. Can you say fucking carried? Oh my god. I'm gonna need a brace. Uh, Scotty man with the five more white wrap. Gross. Uh, let's see. Lord Pot and Investor with the two. Can we party up for the beta? If you just join, typically when I'm matchmaking, it'll put you in. But I don't add people on stream because then I get like a hundred people asking me to do it. But typically you can get in as long as you matchmake at the same time. Said eight junior hamburgers and I get one. Bro, why do you need eight junior hamburgers? They probably thought you said a junior hamburger is my guess. Instead of eight. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, this is Machine Gun Kelly. Gross. To the last night, whole night, I'll be up. What do you mean? Uh, Britman with the five, Kimmy Granger for me, and open George Michael Careless Whisper for the, oh, uh, I guess it's the song. Um, and have a great day or night chat. Thanks for the songs. No problem, man. Really appreciate it. I'm trying to think, I'm guessing Kimmy Granger is a fucking foreign name, but I'm trying to remember if I know who that is. Believe it or not, guys, I'm not exactly well versed on porn stars. The female ones, at least. Yeah, white rap is just fucking horrible, man. Let's talk about it. I'm sick of you being rich and you still mad. Let's talk about it. All of a sudden, 
that's from the Midwest. We can talk about it. Or we can get gully. I'll size up your body and put some white chalk around it. Right. Ride a shot because I got a road dope. It's a fast road. When the idol can come and ride the road. Never hesitate to say it to your face. I'm an asshole. Fuck out. We know you get nervous, rabbit. I see mama spaghetti all over your sweater. I wish you would lose yourself in the record that you made a decade ago. They were better. According to them, you're a national treasure. To me, you're a soft as a feather. The type you scared to ask Rihanna for a number. Just hold her umbrella. Ella, Ella. I'm not afraid. Okay, Oscar the Grouch, chill on the couch. You got an Oscar. Damn, can anyone else get some food in their mouth? They made a movie about you. You and everybody's top ten. You're not getting better with time. It's fine, Eminem. Put down the pen or write an apology over the simple fact you had the this to acknowledge me. I am the prodigy. How could I even look up to you? You ain't as tall as me. Five baby, I'm six four. Seven punches hold your head still. Last time you saw eight mile was at home on a treadmill. You were named after a candy. I was named after a gangster. And don't be a sucker and take my verse off of Yellow Wolf's album. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to be my daughter. You try to stop the money to support her. You don't want to always talk about it. Text me to Addy. I'm pulling up scraps. And I'm by my fucking self. What's happening? ESC cat to salute me and shoot me. That's what he's gonna have to do to me when he realizes that it ain't shit he can do to me everybody always hates me. this isn't anything new to me yeah there's a difference between us i got all of my shit without dre producing me i know you're not used to me usually one of your disses should ruin me a bitch up a cleveland everybody quiet to see that i'm reading the eulogy dropped an album called kamikaze so that means he killed him Already right, fucked one rapper's girl this week don't make me call kim i'm sick of them sweatsuits and corny ass let's talk about it being rich and you still mad let's talk about it Fuck. This song is so shit. Yup. It's corniest, dude. Most diss tracks are fucking cringe. Like, I don't know, man. If you're writing a whole ass song about another man, then that's a little gay. That's all I can say, man. It's a little sus. Like, I understand it's probably good for business. Like, they probably got a shit ton of views roasting each other. But, yeah. I don't know. Uh, so let me see. Copy. Yeah, that got 370 million views. Yeah, he definitely made his money off of that shit. He definitely made his money off of that. Bro. <laughs> I've never heard the actual name of this song. I've heard the song, but I never knew the name. This is what uh, they were thinking about each other when they wrote the diss tracks. Thinking about rubbing each other down in a bubble bath. I thought I got an assist. I was about to get pissed off. What? Ain't no way, bruh. 
I didn't get a single kill off of that either. Wow. Wacist. was a no win scenario my god man that damage drop off for these fucking SMGs is horrible See shit. Fuck. Oh, I got him. Nice. Fire. All right, I can't be mad. Insult me in a line, compliment me on the next damn. I'm really sorry you want me to have a heart attack. Was watching eight mile on my auto track. Realized I forgot to call you back. Here's that autograph for your daughter. I wrote it on a starter cap. Stan, Stan, son, listen, man, dad isn't mad, but how you gonna name yourself after a damn gun and have a man bun? Giants won't eyes open. God, Eminem is so fucking cringe, man. Out 
said it blue. Now let's talk about something I don't really do. Going with someone's daughter's mouth, stealing food. But you're a fucking molehill. Now I'll make a mountain out of you. Ho oh, chill, acting like you put the chrome barrel to my bone marrow. Gonna fit you ain't a bow and arrow. Uh. Like Spraying lead, playing dead. That's the only time you hold still. Are you eating cereal or oatmeal? What the fuck's in the bone, milk? Wheaties or Cheerios? Cause I'm taking uh, Dude, this shit is so fucking cringe. I just I don't understand how people listen to Eminem, bro. Like he's just so bad. Bro, he really just name drop Lil Tay. Oh, Jesus fuck, bro. <laughs> Holy shit, this is corny, bro. This dude's like 50. This dude is 50 years old, bro. Dude, white people should just not rap, dude. This is so cheesy. It's just something, bro. I don't know. It's like the way they rap, just in general. Like, I'm not trying to sound racist, but black people just have such better flow than white people do. Like, it's got to be like an internal sense of rhythm or something. Like, I just, it's hard for me to describe, but there's not a single white rapper that has a good flow. They all talk so deliberate and like fucking rigid. You know what I mean? Like, they like pronounce every single word and it just sounds really cheesy. It's like you're listening to someone talk over a song versus actually, like, you know, become part of the music in a sense. Like, it sounds like they're talking over a beat versus, like, adding to it, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's hard for me to describe, but... And Eminem is probably the worst defender of that. Uh, Claw's Mystery with the 20. I just walked in. What is this porno music? I don't know, man. And Britman with the 2. Kenny Loggins' Danger Zone. Oh, isn't that song from, like... What, what movie is that from? I don't fucking remember. But we can play it, sure. Top Gun? I've never seen Top Gun, so... That wasn't what I was thinking of. It's in a different movie as well.
Yeah, there's a perk that gets rid of the sideways aiming. It's a pair of boots, I think. Yeah, I've never watched Top Gun. It's not my type of movie. Plus, I am not a Tom Cruise fan. This shit is probably from the 80s, bro. Isn't Top Gun from the 80s? Yep, he's part of Scientology. That is a top tier money extraction scheme. They just funnel money out of Tom Cruise's bank account and make him think he's some sort of god. Fucking stupid. Last I heard about him in Scientology was basically like his ex-wife was saying that he would have like visitation rights if he would stop, you know, participating in Scientology and he declined. So I don't, I have no fucking idea, man. I think he's still balls deep in that shit, you know. When a group of people hype you up as the fucking messiah, you don't really want to leave, <laughs> you know. Uh, you generation with the five, let's see. Oh, ew. Adam Sandler. Cringe. Yo, what gun is this? MTZ? This thing's good. Spit on your hand and stroke my cock at a medium pace. What the fuck? I always knew you generation was sweet. I knew you generation was sweet, bro. What the fuck? Pretend I'm the pizza 
delivery guy and watch me whack off. Strap on a dildo and make me give you head. Tell me to slow down and do it at a medium pace. What the oh, fuck, bro? So humiliated. I'm about to blow my load. You tell me it's time to make love, but now I can't cause I spewed all over myself. Bruh. Into my eyes, and you realize how much I enjoy loving you. Oh, I'm so sorry I spunked on my stomach. Maybe next time I'll be better at loving you. There you go. All right. Jesus. JBT with a two, what do you think about the day of Jihad thing? It's probably a bunch of bullshit. Nothing will probably happen with it other than maybe like in the Middle East. Or maybe like a big city or something. But I doubt anything's actually gonna come from it. is gay as fuck. Like, what the fuck is this bitch on, bruh? Why the fuck would you pay this bitch to spew this bullshit, bruh? Like, literally just says random shit. Like, imagine getting paid to do that, bruh. Talk about fucking women's privilege. 
That is the matriarchy, dude. Dude, I didn't get a single fucking kill from those. Are you shitting me? Wow. Yay. Bruh. Ain't no way. That's another wasteism moment. Censored version. Fuck. I hate YouTube music with a passion, bro. I don't know why you upload the fucking censored.
Alright. Alright, I'm gonna do like one or two more and then I'm cutting it off because it's getting late and we have a bunch of shit to get through. So... I'll do like one or two more. Um... Bruno Mars is trash. That's why I'm key likes it. Dude, how is this fucking map fun? Where the fuck are they? This shit is AIDS, bro. They need to take this fucking map out of the game. You should have sent the superior flow ride a version of this song. I'm key. I think you listen to Young Boy, bro. I think you listen to Young Boy, and you just are like trying to bait people into being like, "Hey, I like Young Boy," so then you don't feel alone. Real talk, bro. I think you actually, you know. Are a big fan of Young Boy, and you know you just don't want to admit it, dude. I don't even know. I don't listen to Young Boy. What is like his most popular song? Genie. I've never heard of that song in my entire life. Yeah, so much pain in my body. Yeah, they 
ass and I bought it. Yeah. Don't tell me that you love me if you ain't gonna die for me. You can stay the fuck around me if you ain't gonna ride for me. Tell me you would never Dude, this sounds like some Drake shit, I'm key. Why don't you like him? Uh oh. Whose gun is that? This is I'm Key's favorite artist. Yeah, the only fucking young boy song I've ever heard was this one. Um, this one. Fuck, dude. 
Camping little bitch. Oh my god, bro, these SMGs have no range. But yeah, that's the only Young Boy song I've ever actually listened to. Alright. This will probably be the last one, because the match will probably be over. Oh, uh, this shit's cringe, bruh. I don't know if I want to do this because I'm getting the copyright warning and it's from a fucking uh, movie, so. Yeah, I can't do that, probably. Alright, we'll do Ice Silers. What the fuck? Not yours, it was somebody else's recommendation. Oh, I've heard this before. Only it was a dude singing it. Just think, guys, you could make money writing something like that. Holy shit, man. Yeah, I still have the copyright warning, so we're good on music, so. Uh, oh, well, it's over anyway, so. <sighs> Finally at peace, something like that. I got absolutely shrecked, bro. Although, yeah, I don't think anyone on our team. Oh, one person went positive, everybody else went negative. Hell yeah. 
Uh, we're probably not watching the synthetic man video at this rate tonight, so probably not. Because that shit's probably like 45 minutes, so. Desktop. Um. Oh, it's only. Oh, uh, we can probably do it if it's thirty minutes. Yeah, I think we should be all right. That should be okay. Let me check. Um, there we go. Yeah, 30 minutes. This should be fine. I'll just put it on 1.2. The short cool. version of this review is, uh, don't buy the... Yeah, I finished up. See, look here. This is my fucking Assassin's Creed rant slash review that I recorded earlier. So it's over 32 minutes. So there you go. I made a longer review than Synthetic Man did. Now, if I ever get around to up like uploading it and editing it, that's another story. But yeah, 32 minutes, man. Or actually, what? Yeah, what is that timestamp? It doesn't tell me. Whatever. But yeah, you get the point. Shit's long. The game, it's yet another Assassin's Creed. You've already played probably five or more of these at this point, and this is just another one in the long list of repetitive Ubisoft sandbox games with no innovation whatsoever. The only difference this time around is Ubisoft decided to lie to everybody and say this game is a return to roots, which is only yeah, mostly right. a lie. I guess it's roughly 25% true in the sense that it's a return to the days of Assassin's Creed Unity and Syndicate, but certainly nothing like the first couple entries in the series. And I made sure to play a few hours of Assassin's Creed 1 just before this game came out just to remind myself what classic Assassin's Creed was actually like because I had the feeling that there's no way that they would actually go back to basics. That'd be far too risky and wouldn't be able to hold the attention span of Zoomers as the original Assassin's Creed game was incredibly basic. It was essentially a tech demo with a... Yup, it was originally designed to be a tech demo for an open world Prince of Persia game and it did so well that they just spun it off into its own series story layered on top of it. You did the same repetitive side activities over and over again to unlock the ability to assassinate whatever major target you were going after in that city. There were very few tools, there were no RPG mechanics, the parkour was way slower, but arguably a lot more realistic. And so, lo and behold, I play Assassin's Creed Mirage, and it's nothing like any of those things. Now, there are quite a few throwbacks to the original game, seeing as this takes place in the Middle East again, so there's a lot of visual references and even the combat in some ways is vaguely similar to the original, but still with that really shitty pseudo RPG Assassin's Creed Origin Odyssey Valhalla, etc, etc type. Yeah, you just have this like light fucking bullshit combat that just feels like you're swinging in the air. There's no weight to the combat or anything. It's just super fucking hectic. You're just button mashing and spam light attack motherfuckers. There's nothing satisfying about it. Like, I loved in Assassin's Creed when you would counter one guy and then you would, like, chain kill, like, every single other person. 
like in one continuous flow, you would counter once, kill that guy, kill the next guy, kill the next guy, kill the next guy, kill the next guy to kill the next. Like it was so satisfying and like it fit the lore so well because you're supposed to be like the pinnacle of a fucking hand to hand combat killing machine. Like you're a fucking assassin, bro. You're not some normie fucking foot soldier guard. So it made sense to have the chain killing because like in all the trailers and everything, it always shows like the assassins, you know, doing wild shit with weaponry and everything. And that's about as close to you like being able to do that type of shit in combat is like the chain counter combos. And it was really cool. Combat where the enemies have health bars and take several light attacks to kill. Whereas in the original Assassin's Creed game, if you got a clean hit on a basic enemy, they were fucking dead, as they should be. So let's yep. get right into the general gameplay. There's a rumor that this started as a DLC or expansion for Valhalla, and that seems incredibly obvious because even though it's been almost three years, I still remember playing that game for like 30 to 40 hours. It was back in the early days of my channel, but I did review it and of course pissed a lot of people off, as I always do, but that game was incredibly bloated and repetitive and just very mediocre in almost every way in classic Ubisoft fashion. Now the reason that this game took three more years to come out other than obviously COVID delaying shit, I'm sure that was a massive factor as it was in many games getting delayed. I think the other reason is that they did try to make this game stand out on its own by gutting about half of the RPG mechanics. Yeah, Assassin's Creed 1 is cool for what it is. Like, it's very easy to look at it now and be like, oh my god, it was super repetitive and bland and basic, but it's like, it was just supposed to be a tech demo for an open world Prince of Persia game, and it literally spawned one of the most influential gaming franchises of all time, so for the time it came out, it was a super fucking, like, super fucking influential game, and just really different. Griffin should do a 360 kick IRL. Hell yeah, man. Let me get right on that. Which was definitely a good move. That's probably the best aspect of this game is that... There's no I would not describe any boss encounter in any of the Assassin's Creed games as fun. Like, the Cesare Borgia boss fight in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was fucking AIDS. Um, the Pope in AC2 wasn't bad. But the boss fight in Assassin's Creed 1 was pretty cancer. Like, it's a stealth game. You're not supposed to have boss fights, and it just never translated well. No Unless the boss was, like, super easy. Or levels. They did, for some reason, keep the enemy health bars and make them take several light attacks to kill, which just feels awful. But to counter this, they made parrying really brain-dead and overpowered, kind of like it was in the very original Assassin's Creed game. Countering a basic enemy allows you to instantly repost and kill them, which completely removes the point of hitting them with six light attacks to kill them. You can just wait for an enemy to attack, then counter. But unlike the original Assassin's Creed games, every enemy also has an unparryable attack that you have to dodge which of course comes with a iconic huge flashing red blade you know very immersive right and i think this is to give the combat some kind of illusion of complexity and difficulty yeah like hold on let me just show you because i want to pull up the visual i think it's a uh, ac2 chain 10 there's an achievement for it i'm pretty sure um Pretty sure there's an achievement for it in one. I don't know. I'm not going to bother finding the actual achievement. Hold on. Let me just look up Assassin's Creed Chain Kill. Um. I was hoping somebody would just have it. Like, you see how smooth that is, bro? This shit was so badass back in the day, man. 
Like, this is what an assassin should fight like with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Keep in mind, this game came out in 2010, and the fucking combat animations look a million times better than what we have today. This is a return to fucking roots, dude. Yeah, this is an old ass recording, so this is probably off of like some shitty capture card because 360 capture cards back then were pretty bad. But this is how like smooth I was hoping the gameplay would be. Like, this to me is so much more fun and just cool looking than anything that you can do in Mirage. This is Brotherhood. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that in case nobody's seen it, this is what this is what Assassin's Creed Combat used to be. It wasn't this stupid fucking Souls Light experience where you're fucking dodge rolling and parrying and fucking spamming abilities and health items. Like, it used to be like this fucking almost power fantasy that rewarded you for learning the timing of how to chain combo kills. And it was so fucking fun. Like, it was one of the most rewarding feelings in, like, playing a video game of this genre. When you literally would be, like, in a horde of 15 fucking enemies. And then all of a sudden, you're just mowing every single one of them down like a hot knife through butter, dude. It was so cool. So it's just a shame. Like, that's what I was hoping they were going to return the combat to, not this fucking dodge roll simulator crap. Gonzo with the 10. The excuse of it being simplistic is retarded. I love Spooderman, but let's not pretend like the combat was super complex. Could easily be done with high-quality animations. They're just scared and lazy. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I mean, if you look at the Spider-Man combat, it's the same as that Spider-Man 2 game back on, like, the PS2, so... We've had complex, like, combat design for a very long time. I mean, look at Devil May Cry, for example. I think that's a prime example of complex, like, gameplay design. In, like, the hack and slash or third-person action game genre, so... Especially with modern technology, it should be easier than ever before to do this type of shit. A lot of devs are just lazy. And 04 Alphatron with the two. No, my assassins need superpowers. Deal with it? That's right, man. I want to hold down RT and use eight different abilities. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I want to level up by getting skill points. That's so much fun. Colty, but in reality, this game's combat is completely fucking brain dead. And there's several reasons for that. First of all, there's only six enemy types in the entire game. And four out of those six, you will... I don't have a problem with there being limited enemy types because how many different types of guards are there really going to be? Like, that makes sense to me. ...counter in almost every area in the game, that being the basic sword guys, the spear guys, the archer guys, and the heavy armored guys. And these enemies only have two or three attacks each, so you'll very quickly memorize when to dodge, when to parry, and dodging and parrying have very, very generous windows of invulnerability. The entire parry animation will have ended, and you'll still be able to parry an attack. It looks very jank and goofy and stupid. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
And on top of that, every basic enemy type in the game has super armor. A light attack does not stagger them. You have to hit them three times yep. just for them to recoil, which makes the combat feel even more weightless and jank. More jank than a game that's over 15 years. Uh, Lord Pawnhead Investor with the five. The best part is you were full power at the very beginning of the game. Brotherhood was so awesome. Yeah, like, dude, just... You have to get a fucking skill in Mirage in order to pick up a fucking throwing knife. Which is something I mentioned in my fucking video. It's like, dude, that's how fucking far we've fallen. In order to do something as basic as picking up a fucking throwing knife that you threw into a motherfucker's skull, you have to fucking invest into a skill tree. <laughs> it's like, what? Why? Dude, it's so dumb. I, I like really fucking hate the stupid pseudo RPG bullshit in these new Assassin's Creed games. There's old Assassin's Creed 1 combat. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about making my video title is the Assassin's Creed franchise is dead. Assassin's Creed Mirage is trash tier nostalgia bait. Like, I feel like that's going to be the title I go with if I upload this video. Now, I have to bring myself to actually record footage for this shit, which may be tough, because, like, now that I've washed my hands of that game, I don't really want to fucking go back to it. But, yeah. Genuinely feels better than this. And so the actual melee combat just devolves into spamming light attack, occasionally using a heavy attack, which can knock enemies off of buildings, kind of like the Sparta kick could do in Odyssey. And that's kind of fun, I guess. But even when you're completely... Yeah, the whole notion of, like, the Assassin's Creed fucking franchise is just done. Isn't the archive channel, like, in super low quality, though? No, I'll just have to record some footage, man. It is what it is. It's not a big deal. I'll just bring myself to play it a little bit tomorrow, I guess. Uh, Lord Pothead Investor with the five. Another thing is, if you wanted a stronger sword, you just killed an enemy with it and just picked it up. Yup. Gone are those days. You gotta go collect crafting materials by doing fucking generic side activities that are the only way to get that crafting material. And then you can upgrade your sword two times. And, dude, the other thing is about Mirage that's fucking hilarious is, like... All of the starting equipment you get at the beginning of the fucking game is literally the best stuff you'll get for the rest of the game. Like, all of the fucking unlockable items and weapons and armor sets fucking suck. Literally, the default shit you start with is the best item set in the fucking game. There is zero reason to ever switch your equipment unless you just want to go for the aesthetic overwhelmed the game is just too easy because of your assassin tools which are supposed to be used for stealth so i'll get into that when we talk about stealth in a second but you can use some of those tools in the middle of melee combat to trivialize yep. any fight for some reason the armored enemies can only be attacked in the back and if you hit them in the front straight out of a cartoon your sword just bounces off of them with a clang and so all you have to do is dodge an attack and then you hit them in the back because for some reason they don't wear any armor on their backs which makes no fucking sense for multiple reasons exactly reasons and despite them being armored enemies you can still just assassinate them normally from stealth so the armored enemies are an annoyance if you want to play the game properly and completely trivial if you want to abuse the game the only two interesting enemy types out of the six are the flamethrower guys which are pretty rare but at least they do something they were fucking annoying i don't like those something special which is set you on fire of course and you can break the jar on their back to instantly kill them. i don't like gimmicky enemies like that personally and the assassin type. See, I guess that's something me and Synthetic Man disagree on here. Is like, I'm perfectly fine with the generic, uh, you know, fodder guard enemies. I don't fucking care. That doesn't bother me. Like, I like expect to be just killing generic guards in an Assassin's Creed game. I don't need, like, a bunch of gimmick, you know, enemy types. Zero Four Alphatron with the two. UB should sell Assassin's IP. Well, it's one of their only profitable IPs, so they might as well sell their entire company at that point. Enemy, which ties directly into the very basic notoriety system, where if you max out notoriety by killing people in front of innocents over and over again, they'll send an assassin enemy after you, and unlike all the other enemies, he attacks a lot faster with tighter parry timings, and he can throw a dagger at you in the middle of combat. 
and he kills you in about three hits. So because he's so much more difficult than the other enemies, he probably will kill you at least a couple times, just throwing you off guard. But in reality, he's not really as challenging as almost any enemy from a Souls game. It's just the weird difficulty spike will throw you off guard. But still, it was a welcome change from the rest of the brain dead combat. And that's pretty much it for the combat. You're going to fight the same the entire game. Honestly, you should just avoid getting into combat whenever possible because it's so boring and brain dead. Most of you who thought this is some kind of return to roots are probably more curious to hear about the stealth, and that's really the only good news I have for this game is that stealth... Yo, the stealth is the only positive I have about it, personally. ...has been significantly buffed over the fake Witcher... The stealth is pretty decent. Like, I think that part was fine three clone entries and is much more similar to say assassin's creed unity in both a good way and a bad way in a good way in the sense that now assassinations are guaranteed kill on every enemy type except the assassin enemy type and it's very easy to avoid getting your notoriety to max and you could just avoid those guys altogether so essentially stealth in every way is where it should be right you're playing as an assassin you should be able to just stab anybody in the neck and kill them and not be barred by some arbitrary number system where that guy's level 80 but I'm only level 60, so I can't kill him in one hit. That shit sucks. So as for the actual stealth mechanics, you'll be familiar with most of these already, except unlike the old games, having the low-profile, high-profile system where the equivalent to crouching was just walking slowly, which actually makes a lot more sense logically. But I guess because gamers are used to crouching equal quiet... This is yet another game where you have the crouch mode, and a walking mode, and a running mode, and a jumping mode. There's too many different movement modes in these games, I've never liked that shit, nor do I like the parkour for that matter, considering it's pretty much completely automated. So yes, you can crouch to be quiet, you can assess- The parkour, I think, is an improvement, because, you know, in the previous modern Assassin's Creed, especially the past three, You've basically played Spider-Man Simulator, where you can climb on any surface at any time, no matter how steep, whether there's little objects jutting out for you to grab onto or not. You could literally just scale any fucking object. It didn't matter what the surface looked like or what was on it. In this game, they kind of walk that back a little bit and force you to climb up like a predetermined path, but... It's never really done in the same way that it was in previous Assassin's Creed's, where it was almost like a little puzzle. It's more so of just, you know, making it a little less automated, but not really. It just slows it down a little bit. Assassinate from several different positions again, like from behind cover or on a ledge. Though the ledge assassination seems a lot more difficult to actually pull off, maybe because enemies don't... Well, dude... That's the thing, though, is Origins and Odyssey were Assassin's Creed games, so you have to judge them as Assassin's Creed games. I agree Ubisoft should spin off like those style of games and just make them their own standalone experience, but the Assassin's Creed name sells, so they're going to keep using it. Don't really stand near ledges that much. Obviously, you can assassinate from above, you can assassinate while running, you can assassinate even after you've been discovered for a good two seconds. So you can actually just straight up run up to some enemies and hit R1 and instantly kill them. It's that brain dead, guys. And we haven't even taken into account your tools, which are so absurdly broken that this game could be... I don't mind the tools. I kind of like the power... Like, this is the one thing in the game that makes you feel powerful. Like, everything else makes you feel fucking, like, a little pussy. So I like the tools, personally. Like, they're the one fucking power fantasy killing machine kind of, I guess, element in this game. They're the only thing that allows you to actually feel like a professionally trained assassin, I guess is what I'm getting at. Completed by a toddler, I'm convinced. First of all, we've got your throwing knives, which are no doubt the most fun tool in the game because you yep. can actually just aim and throw them. So it felt like I was actually doing something, though there is super heavy auto aim on these to the point where once you unlock the charge throw, once you start charging up your throw, you literally can't move your icon off the target. So it's basically aimbot. And because Ubisoft AI is so brain dead, you can throw a knife in someone's head and the guy right next to him will just kind of stare at him awkwardly, allowing you to easily assassinate that other guy with little trouble. Later, you unlock double assassinations, kind of like Far Cry, where you can kill one guy, then throw a knife to kill a second guy. 
I mean, that's really only the tip of the iceberg. It only gets worse from here. But the worst defender of all is the smoke bomb. <laughs> now, this yep. is not the first time that a smoke bomb has been overpowered in an Assassin's Creed game. This it's shit is so OP. That it has. But for some reason, Ubisoft is so fucking stupid when it comes to balance. They think it's a good idea to have something that's supposed to be a defensive tool and escape. Well, it's even worse. I don't know. Well, let's just see if he mentions weapon. It. Allow you to assassinate people for free, multiple of that, because once you get the duration upgrade, it lasts like 10 seconds. So you can get like four free assassinations in the middle of combat by just throwing a smoke bomb at your feet and spamming R1 a bunch of times. It looks fucking horrendous, man. This game is baby easy journalist difficulty, dude. And look, if you're the type of guy who wants to play a game where... All right, he didn't mention it. So... It gets even worse for the smoke bombs. Not only do they allow you to assassinate anyone you want for 10 seconds, if you upgrade them, they also heal you while you're standing in the smoke cloud assassinating people. And on top of that shit, there's an, I think the final upgrade is basically to give it the ability that anyone who's hit by the smoke bomb forgets that they ever saw you. So theoretically, you could throw the smoke bomb, assassinate four people. While you're assassinating those four people, your health gets restored, and then you can just wander off into like a hiding spot, and no one is actually aware that you were there, so you can go and get another two assassinations for free. Like, the smoke bomb is absolutely fucking broken. So, yeah... But again, I kind of like that because, you know, the combat basically makes you feel like a fucking wuss. So it's kind of nice to have one thing in the game that kind of gives you that assassin power fantasy kind of feel. It's essentially god mode. This game is still kind of fun. I'm not going to lie to you and say that the combat being brain dead made me hate the game. Actually, I'm completely fine with killing all these people with little effort as long as there's some kind of progression. And there is a skill tree, but it's fucking horrible, dude. The yep. left and middle skill trees is so much better than the one on the right that you can just gun for all the good abilities in the first five or six hours of the game. And then you never really become more powerful than that because the skill trees are also front loaded in that the last three perks on each tree are actually weaker than the first half the tree which makes no fucking sense at all and speaking of skill trees let's talk about the magic superpower you have to <laughs> teleport to people and kill them for free this shit's a fucking joke Now, everyone, including myself, when this was first revealed, made fun of this, especially since they were claiming they were going back to basics. There's nothing basic about activating your ultimate fucking Overwatch style and just getting three kills for free, or up to five, once you've gotten it upgraded. Again, it just looks so fucking <laughs> stupid. The excuse in-game is that the Animus can't track your movements, you're moving so fast. So, Blossom is fucking superhuman, <clears throat> apparently. It's, it's canon. But if I'm being honest with you, the smoke bombs are actually worse. They might look less stupid, but the fact that they let you kill three or four enemies for free and you can carry four smoke bombs actually makes it more broken than the literal ultimate superpower you have. I guess this is a good time to talk about what RPG mechanics are left. Even though we don't have levels, we do still have gear, but the gear is extremely limited in scope. I think there's only six options for each of the gear slots, and we still have this horrible Destiny UI menu that I fucking hate. People didn't even really like Destiny, at least the- There was no need for there to be, like, additional gear sets and weapons in this game. It was completely fucking unnecessary vast majority of people didn't so why did every game copy off of this shitty menu that looks terrible with this little floating cursor it feels awful it's too slow it just looks bad in general and yet every game decided to copy off of this shit especially like the looty shooty games but anyway to the gear the gear barely makes a difference honestly most of the starter equipment is actually the best equipment in the game which is bizarre i don't know the gear system just feels tacked on or really just a leftover from valhalla yep. because it serves very little purpose you can upgrade your gear to do a little bit more damage but even with maxed out sword and dagger damage, it still took four hits to kill a basic enemy instead of six, so not really much of a progression. And to upgrade all this stuff, you have to collect crafting materials. I'm sure none of us are tired of collecting useless garbage. But you see how lame the fucking combat animations are in comparison. Like, look how buttery fucking smooth this shit looks. And you see, like, the new gameplay looks so janky, bro. It looks just sloppy. 
Like, this shit actually looks choreographed. There's no clipping. There's no, like, fucking physics issues. It's just buttery fucking smooth, bro. But yeah, I don't know, man. Just go back to that. The ground in every AAA Look game. Look how by sloppy now. Now, this shit looks, bro. It's not really that big of a deal in this game. The main way of getting the shit is just breaking into random people's houses to open their locked chest, and this is also how you get schematics for the upgrades. And the other way is by doing these little repetitive side missions, which admittedly actually have pretty good rewards. So you probably should do a few of them, at least just for the extra skill points. I don't know. Lord I Pothead Investor with the two. Don't forget Brotherhood was made in less than two. I think it was made in a year, right? Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, Revelations, 3, uh, 4, Unity, and then Syn... No, I think Syndicate took a break. So yeah, I think it was Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, Revelations, 3, and 4 were all back-to-back -back, like annual releases. So I, I don't even think it was two years. It was just a single year. I guess the RPG mechanics here weren't too intrusive, but I feel like they just shouldn't have been there at all because they didn't really add anything. And to give those RPG games a little bit of credit, at least in like Valhalla and Odyssey, you had different weapon types. Here, you only have the sword and the dagger for the entire game, which is pretty fucking lame, especially because the animations look so over the top and not how any real person would sword fight. You're not playing as fucking Geralt, who has a lore reason for doing spins. No, it just looks fucking dumb. So yeah, I'd say the gameplay is certainly more close to the basics than any of the last three entries in the series, but it's still polluted by that general pseudo-RPG feel that the last three games had, because this essentially is just an expansion for Valhalla. And yeah, if you squint hard enough, it kinda plays like the old games in the sense that stealth is just more fun and honestly better than going loud straight into the middle of combat. But it's actually too easy. It's an overcorrection. There's way too many tools in this game to make stealth completely brain dead. And honestly, it's not even worth talking about the brain dead AI in detail if you've played any Ubisoft game. And that's including their other game franchises like Far Cry or Watch Dogs. Then you already know how dumb their AI is. No, it hasn't improved. Okay, enough about gameplay. What about the sandbox? Well, if you've played a Ubisoft game, you already know what to expect here. Again, it's not worth really going into detail at all. It's trash. There's still Ubisoft tower viewpoints that you've got to climb. Though, like I said, the climbing is even more brain dead. In a sense, you can't even kill yourself. The thing that pissed me off the most about this game is how much they wasted the setting. Like, every other Assassin's Creed has a setting that plays, like, an integral part to the story. You could have literally dropped this fucking game into any other city during any other time period, and it would not have affected the story whatsoever. Baghdad was the most throwaway fucking nostalgia baity location in the history of this franchise. It literally could have been in any other fucking location on planet Earth, and it would have been the exact same game. The city it was set in had zero impact on the overarching story if you try there's a bunch of forgettable side activities like breaking into people's houses and opening chests or finding enigmas or mysterious shards or whatever and of course i never collected enough of those to do whatever quests they're leading toward there's also side quests kind of like the rpgs though there's far far fewer of them there's a lot more contracts which i guess you could qualify as a side quest those are the ones i mentioned earlier that give you skill points and give you crafting components so you should do a few of those but they're pretty basic objectives like following a guy killing a guy in a fortress searching a guy's room that you have to break into in a special way that's pretty much it and the city no, of Baghdad it, or it was not set in Baghdad for diversity points it was set in Baghdad for fucking nostalgia bait like oh my god bro it's like the first one it's set in the Middle East holy shit that's the only reason they did it 
That's not diversity point. If they were going for like diversity points, they would put it in like fucking sub-Saharan Africa or something and do like a We Was Kang style story, I'm sure. Which I wouldn't be shocked if that's going to happen at some point. Like this would be like the story of Mansa Musa and his fucking city of gold or some shit like that, you know? That's what they would do if they were going for like diversity points. Putting it in the Middle East was just nostalgia bait because, you know, that's where the first game was set. Same with Prince of Persia. Excuse me, Baghdad is the only city in the game. I mean, there's a couple little towns outside of the area, but this map is the only map, which is fine, I guess. I didn't really have a problem with it. It's pretty big, but the city itself is just kind of a forgettable desert city. I don't know how Assassin's Creed 1 managed to have three much more memorable cities, despite them having far fewer content. Maybe because there weren't any distractions from the environment itself, like all these meaningless activities, that you could actually take in the city that you're in. But honestly, I'm the type of guy who doesn't really care about that stuff anyway. I don't like sandboxes as I've said many times this is just another generic one I didn't care for very much okay what about the story well <laughs> it's another forgettable Assassin's Creed story I don't know what to tell you there's not that much to talk about if you played Assassin's Creed Valhalla you'll remember Basim was from the beginning of the game and so we get to play out his origin story he starts off as a simple street rat like Aladdin and he has a female girl boss friend who talks shit to him of course who also isn't wearing a head covering and may I remind you, this takes place in the Middle East in the ninth Dude, century. Dude, that's trans-Loki to you. Century, and it is the first of many woke elements surrounding women in this game. And as they break into some big place and go to steal some riches, they reach into a box and Basim is haunted by nightmares of a genie. And the big bad guys of this game are Sargon and the skeptic community. And they kill the small little neighborhood that Basim lives in. And everyone dies except for his girl boss friend. And we didn't even know any of the other people. So this completely fails as emotional manipulation. And so Basim gets saved by the female master assassin, Roshan, which is a fucking man's name. And she looks like a man and has the voice voice of an 80 year old chain smoking woman I yep. won't let the past define me this is why I now consider myself the daughter of no one and you've heard this chick's voice before especially if you've seen the expanse like I have she was the president of earth in that show which was very cringe and so again in the middle east in the ninth century we have a female master assassin my suspense of disbelief was like absolutely obliterated in the first hour of this game and speaking of first hour this is one of the worst tutorials in assassin's creed history in the first hour and a half of the game you don't even fucking get to engage in combat like at all it's basically just a series of linear walking sequences you get to pickpocket a couple times and knock out a couple people and then it's cutscene after cutscene after cutscene with terrible marvel movie quippy writing i swear it's like ubisoft doesn't understand dude this is all i can think of when i uh Whenever I see the fucking uh, master assassin, dude. This shit. I'm Mary, and I use the word <laughs> mother. I want to give you some men about getting ready in the morning. <laughs> you me. <laughs> Bro, that's all I can fucking think of. Was it this one? I think this is when you have a hole in your neck. Don't face the shower head. <laughs> Crouch. Don't bend over. You don't want to lose the food in your stomach. <laughs> Don't use spray paint. Be very careful, Shaby. That's all I can think of when I hear that girl boss assassin, bruh. I need to download this for my fucking video. Hold on. Because I'm gonna make that comparison 100%. It's too fucking good. <laughs> yeah, I got secondhand smoke from watching that shit. Oh my god.
understand why people like Ezio at all. <laughs> and so almost every assassin afterward is a discount Ezio that is not nearly as likable. And that's Bossim in a nutshell. I would rather have an asshole Altair again who then grows to learn how to be a good man or whatever. Because at least that's a classic type of story that's tried and tested. I don't care if it's generic, if it's handled correctly. It would be ten times better than this. And no joke, you get a training montage to learn all of your assassin abilities. No, you don't get to actually learn them in gameplay and slowly accrue new abilities over time. Yeah, because this was a DLC and they assumed you already had all this shit. No, you get a cutscene and now you're an assassin, you know all the skills an assassin knows, pretty much. And all further abilities are just through the skill tree, which has no connection to the story. There's no, like, in-game explanation how you learn all this other shit. Nope. And so I had a hard time paying attention at this point because the story was so boring. But I guess it's supposed to be simultaneously a revenge plot since Sargon killed all your buddies. But also it turns out he just so happens to be a member of the Order, which is a whole other side complaint. They don't even call the Assassins and the Templars Assassins and Templars. No, they're the Hidden Ones and the Order. And I'm pretty sure this is not the first time that they're called this. I'm assuming Assassin's Creed Origins came up with this, but it's so fucking lame. Yeah, they're either called the Cult or the Order. The name is completely interchangeable. You're clearly an assassin. That's what you fucking do for a living. You kill hundreds of innocent guards over the course of this game. There's no way all those guards were evil. They probably had families. Exactly! And and then Bassem's fucking bitch ass is like, oh, torturing is immoral. I remember, like, literally when that shit happened in the game, I had to, like, stop it and go, like, yo. I remember, like, that scene where the person was getting tortured and then Bassem's bitching about how torture is wrong. And I said some shit like, dude, haven't I literally killed, like, hundreds of people up to this point and I'm fucking worried about torture? It's like, bruh, it's so cheesy, man. This is like some fucking super idealized cringe. They're just paid a fucking pittance to stand around and make sure people don't go where they're supposed to go. And it's completely morally fine to kill all of those people because you're a hidden one. No, the assassins in Assassin's Creed 1 weren't even great people. Your master turns out to be the villain, spoilers, for a 15-year-old game there. No, now we are the goody two-shoes guys, and the Templars are the Order, which is the most generic fucking evil name ever. Just call them the Empire and call yourselves the Rebels. I mean, goddamn, what a joke. And so, yeah, the grand quest of the game just becomes kill Sargon and the skeptic community before they make their YouTube channels. Well, that might as well be the plot. I, again, I wasn't really paying attention. None of your buddies are likable, and the villains are also pretty unlikable because you basically just jump between killing all of these important targets, and you only get to know them for, like, you know, five minutes before you kill them. And a bunch of them are women, by the way. Again, in the Middle East in the 9th century, we have these powerful women that are part of the order because apparently even the villains That's are not right. sexist guys you can try to control the world and you know slaughter untold amounts of people in your domination but at least they're not sexist guys and they're not racist That's either. Right. even in the middle east baghdad has to be diverse because no it's not yep. just middle eastern people here There's because a diversity is their strength obviously a bunch of Indians, Pakistanis, whatever. There's a bunch of sub-Saharan Africans. There's some Asians. But I don't think I saw, like, a single white guy ever. Your Asian buddy who you meet at some point mentions there being a Greek merchant, but I don't... The Greek merchant was a black guy. I don't think I ever spoke to him. Nobody... You did. He was on horseback, and he was black. He was not Greek. He looked Greek in the game, I can tell you that. So according to Ubisoft, every country in the world in the past is just like the United States, a fucking beautiful melting pot, because having a homogenous country is racist. So yeah, like I said, wasn't paying attention to the story. There's a bunch of boss bitches in the fucking Middle East, so you really think I was going to care about this story? Hell fucking no, dude. The and boss the whole thing babes. is so forgettable anyway, because you can do these assassinations in any order you want, and the only one of these investigations I vaguely remember is when you're helping out this guy named Ali, because he's the only dude in the entire game yep, who actually this part. acts like... This is the part where he literally bitches about torture. An early middle age Muslim rebel leader would act like. You know, he's vindictive, he's acting in the name of Allah, and he's going to slaughter the evil tyrants or whatever the hell, right? He's the only dude with any slight amount of edge in this world because, of course, as part of the woke, diverse, inclusive universe Ubisoft has created, everyone you meet is super friendly. They never address the oppression of women in the Middle East at all in this entire game, as I already implied earlier. I mean, sure, you visit a harem, slaves are name-dropped, but you never actually see slaves 
slaves working and the morality of slavery is never addressed at any point because it's yet another sterile AAA game. Again, this shouldn't be surprising to anybody. So I don't know. I think the Ali guy was all right. And they're sort of like, oh, did he go too far? Kind of like a Malcolm X sort of thing. But he was in the right. Slaughter your enemies, you know, very based. Now, because I actually took the extra time to finish this game, even though I really didn't have to, my opinion did not change at all, I might as well talk about the ending. So as I've mentioned multiple times in this review already, despite taking place during the 9th century in what would be modern-day Iraq, there are many girl bosses in this game, whether it's your childhood friend, your assassin men. Yep, the women poets, the female scholars, the female uh, treasury or treasurers, whatever the fuck, it's a fucking joke. Mentor, multiple Templar assassination targets, like a female scholar in a time period where the vast majority of women wouldn't even know how to read. And of course, as you come to the big climax of this investigation, you've taken out all of the Order underlings, it's finally revealed that the leader of the Order in Baghdad is a woman, of course. Yep. And guess what? You don't even get the pleasure of killing her yourself. No, in a very cliche fashion, she tells you that Basim has magical blood, which, you know, if you know Assassin's Creed lore, basically means he's connected to the ancient humans or maybe the ancient aliens. I'm not familiar enough with this Assassin's Creed lore anymore, and they don't explain it in the story. Point is, only his blood can open the gate to one of those futuristic alien places that, of course, is at the Assassin's home base. And so your mentor, Roshan, kills the leader of the Order and tells you that she'll kill you if you try and find the ancient alien place. Of course, Basim doesn't listen. And despite basically all the Templars being dead, they somehow still are able to send a bunch of their troops to kill almost all of the Assassins, which is just plain bad writing. It makes no sense. But of course, being an overpowered Gary Stu badass, Basim kills them all himself and he makes his way inside the cave and finds the big door, but Roshan shows up, you have a boss battle, and guess what? You don't even fucking get to kill her either. She lives. And as you yep. make your way inside the... And then she throws her hidden blade down to the ground and fucking rage quits. Big alien fortress place. You find out that Nihal, your childhood friend, was actually just an illusion. I guess it's one of these ancient humans or ancient alien people or whatever was communicating with him in the form of her and also in the form of the genie you see in your dreams. And they combine consciousnesses somehow. And then you become a completely different person, which is shown in the epilogue by your eagle buddy no longer recognizing by him and scratches him in the face which i guess means that one of these immortal ancient human people is now roaming the earth i guess i never finished valhalla so i'm not even sure what the implications of this is and i honestly he's loki bro and loki is trans because loki was a woman i didn't care the story fucking sucked this might be the worst ending out of any of these Assassin's Creed games i've actually finished it didn't really feel like anything was actually accomplished so in conclusion, should you buy the game? Fuck no, of course not. I guess the real question is, is it worth subscribing to Ubisoft Plus for a month? Well, the answer is still no, but if for some reason you really, really have to play the new Assassin's Creed game, at least make sure you cancel Ubisoft Plus afterward, because I guess for $15, it's kind of worth playing if you haven't already played three or more Assassin's Creed games, but I would tell you just to play one of the better ones. Play Assassin's Creed 2, play Black Flag, Maybe play Brotherhood if you still want to play another one at that point, and then don't bother trying any of the other ones. You've pretty much played them all at that point. And I don't like any of these pseudo RPG Witcher 3 clone ones. I don't understand why people like them. They're so fucking repetitive. Such a waste of time. Odyssey is not a good game. I don't care what anybody says. And Valhalla is even worse. Mirage no, actually, Valhalla's better than Odyssey, but they're not they're both not great. It's slightly better than those games because at least it doesn't have the terrible leveling system and the skill trees have been simplified and there's no leveled loot or any random loot at all for that matter. And you actually get to feel like an assassin again in Assassin's Creed, even though it's completely brain dead and easy. Seriously, this game is not worth anybody else's time. It's another generic Assassin's Creed game. Big shock. I hope Ubisoft dies. They honestly represent almost everything wrong with this industry, putting microtransactions in single-player games, sterilizing said games, putting woke shit in, of course, because that's the popular thing to do now. And Mirage still has pretty much all of those problems. So that's about it. See you next time, guys. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, Lord Pot had invested with the five. You become a different person at the end of the game. It didn't explain that at all. So essentially, my understanding of the ending is Loki, aka Bossum, is locked up in that vault that you open, and Bossum is the direct descendant of Loki. 
So he possesses like Loki's ancient human blood, essentially, which is why he's able to open the vault. And then when he gets inside of the fucking chamber, Loki essentially is freed and rejoins with Bossum. And the entire game, Loki was using Knee Hall to communicate with Bossum by making him see Vietnam flashbacks and shit and lots of other schizo bullshit throughout the game. So essentially, Loki is manipulating Bossum to open the vault by pretending to be Knee Hall, who's actually a schizophrenic hallucination. Bossum opens the fucking vault, freeing Loki who then merges with fucking Bossom, taking control of his fucking body by merging Nihal and Bossom together. And then he emerges from the fucking cave, and that's why the bird doesn't recognize him, because essentially he's become a different person, because Loki is now, like, I guess, controlling his body. And then if you want to get into, like, the stupid fucking autistic detail of the story, there's, like, the modern-day story with Bossom communicating with one of the fucking girls who goes in the Animus. Like, it's really fucking stupid. The Assassin's Creed story at this point is so beyond unnecessary convoluted, and you have to go and read, like, fucking comic books and shit to make any sort of sense of it. It's horrible, bro. Ever since, like, Assassin's Creed ended, or Assassin's Creed 3 ended, they have completely fucking butchered, like, the ancient civilization storyline of uh, Assassin's Creed. The modern-day story of Assassin's Creed after Assassin's Creed 3 is a complete fucking train wreck. Uh, Lord Pothead Investor with the two, so it's AC3 store. No, it's not really. It's not. This is just another, like, ancient being like Juno who is working to free himself. But it's Loki this time instead of Juno, essentially. It's really fucking stupid. Ah, <sighs> but yeah. <laughs> it's really bad. The story, even if you understand the story, it's really fucking dumb. It's a horrible fucking game, guys. I would not advise playing it. Alright, so what is this shit? White people food. the most enduring tropes on the left is the assertion that whatever the cost of rapid demographic changes, whatever the downfalls of diversity, it's all worth it for the diverse food. Mm, but the food is so yummy. And that Western food is bland and boring. White culture must be preserved. Meanwhile, actual white people food. White people food bad. White people will be a minority by 2050. Oh no, food might what get more flavorful fuck? on average. The horror. Yeah, I'm sure that's the only consequence. More flavorful. Is he bitching about the fucking lack of seasoning memes? Mmm, oh. so flavorful. So flavorful. What is the point of this? So flavorful. So flavorful. You hate immigrants? No immigrant food. And when I say no immigrant food, I mean no immigrant food, nothing. No Mexican food, no Caribbean food, no Dominican food, no Asian food, nothing. Only potatoes. What's that here in the background? <laughs> Seasoning police. Salt and Rebecca. Oh no, we're not chucking in vatfuls of cheap and nasty MSG-laden artificial flavor enhancers and using, God forbid, real ingredients. This is a PSA to the Seasoning Police on this app. If in your brain you only view seasoning as things like garlic powder, onion powder, or maybe something like rosemary. If this is what you view as seasoning and seasoning only, let me pose you a question. What does this come from? Granulated garlic, what is that? Garlic, onion powder, what does that come from? Dehydrated onion? Let's take a look at the spice rub. Dehydrated garlic, onion, and bell pepper. 
Hmm, what is so funny to me is if I had just doused my chicken in this rub, in this rub alone, the seasoning police would be out of my comments. They wouldn't even be in there. But the second it's fresh garlic or fresh onion or fresh bell pepper, it's automatically not seasoning. What the fuck? Peppers, along with my onion and garlic. Only potatoes. Hmm. Hmm, let's check out the world's best rated cuisines. And it's a one, two, three. Western Europe sweeps the podium. Not bad for only potatoes. Only potatoes. Also, without white people food, desserts basically wouldn't exist. Only potatoes. The chefs with the most Michelin starred restaurants. Hmm, not a very diverse bunch. Three star Michelin chefs featured in the latest Michelin Guide. Not a very diverse bunch. Wow, how did all these white Western European people achieve so much success while cooking the blandest food on the planet? Only potatoes. Must be systemic racism. <laughs> a whole generation of millennial lefties spent the best part of a decade. Yeah, I forgot who it was, but like, speaking of this, I saw some shit online where like, these people were saying like, <sighs> They ruined seafood or something for not, like, coating it in Old Bay or whatever. It's like some people want to actually taste the fucking food they're eating and not the seasoning that's literally covering it. Like, if you have to mask the, like, flavor of what you're eating with a shitload of seasoning, you shouldn't fucking eat the thing that you're eating in the first place. Because you obviously don't fucking like the taste of it. Like, if you're eating crab, for example, and you have to, like, dip that shit in butter, then you put it in fucking Old Bay to, like, cover up the flavor of the crab, it's like, why are you eating crab? You don't like the taste of the crab. You're masking it with fucking butter and seasoning. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb, bro. That shit's stupid. Okay. Watching Anthony Bourdain travel the far reaches of the world, eating assorted mystery meat and objectively gross slop. Then watched him lying, claiming it tastes delicious. Raw blood soup. Yeah. Shit juice helps with the coagulation and adds flavor. A whole bunch of deep fried crunai or innards like CSI soup. I'm eating out of an open wound. Mm. Actually, that's completely delicious. Utterly delicious. Mm, coagulated pig's blood and innards. So flavorful. Completely delicious. It's quite spicy. You can taste the chilies. It doesn't really taste like blood. Raw ingredients so tasty, you have to completely overpower them with chilies to hide the horrible taste. You eat too much of the you go blind. It has to do with parasites. Mmm, parasites. So flavorful. Two or three years ago, and a whole family in uh, Nan province, all seven of them died. Anyone would want just completely love this. Delicious. Delicious. Utterly delicious. Anthony Bourdain, slop unknown. Travel and food show featuring previously unreleased footage of the late Anthony. Yeah, people are desperate to fucking, you know pretend that they're so adventurous and shit. Bourdain. Each episode, Bourdain travels to a third world shithole to sample their local traditional slop and then lies about it being better than Western oak cuisine. Honestly, best meal I've ever had. So we've got here pad thai, cow pad, coconut curry noodle soup. I gotta say, man, this food looks fucking delicious. Yeah, this is my favorite. Fresh, local. This shit is what it's all about. Yeah, very local. I hate white people. I can't wait to eat the bread. Oh, yeah, that's the best part. So flavorful. In a world where there are a thousand genders and Christianity is on the decline, where wokeism dictates our every move and illegal immigration is at an all time high, there's a hidden agenda. The FDA and the government don't want you to be healthy and independent. They'd rather have you live in an unhealthy, borderless society that's completely dependent on the state. Immigration isn't just about cultural shifts, it's about control. They want to dictate who you can live with, what you can and cannot consume in terms of media and food. But why? Because a healthy, independent individual is harder to control. NMN, or nicotinamide mononucleotide, is a beacon what the of hope fuck? in the trying times. A precursor to NAD+, plus, it's scientifically proven to- Bruh, are we getting a vitamin ad? your supply of Black Forest NMN. Don't wait until it's too ethnic slop fusion restaurant opening near you. Africa's population is set to double by 2050, with many of them heading to Europe. Anyone fancy a cheeky Nigerian? So flavorful. India, hey man, you've got to try the street food. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> No thanks, I'm good. Completely delicious. Behold the communal slop soup, <laughs> because nothing accentuates the sweet, pungent taste of sweaty feet. Like a few 10 kilogram bags of monosodium glutamate. So flavorful. The taste test? Yep, I'm getting a mouthful of listeria. Good fucking job. A new trend has exploded on Chinese social media where users recreate bland white people food as their work lunch. Maybe we need more Chinese immigration to banish our unsophisticated ways. Only then can we truly savor the nuanced, delicate complexities of gutter oil sewage slop. One tenth of cooking oil used in China is scooped out from sewers, gutters, and trash cans. 
This is being collected uh, to be reused for the next customer who orders spicy hot pot. So flavorful because you can't consider yourself a true connoisseur of real oak cuisine until you've chowed down on some grasshoppers or silkworms deep fried in bin juice. So flavorful. Completely delicious. Gordon Ramsay slop kitchen. You call that slop? Where's the soap de macaco uma delicia? Where's the fucking gutter oil? Unsurprisingly, it's also carcinogenous. But so flavorful. Not a fan of sewage oil centipedes. Don't worry. There's always. Yeah, the Chinese eat some weird shit, bro. Stir-fry pebbles. This Chinese stir-fry features rocks as the main ingredient. People are supposed to suck off the flavors, then spit out the rocks. When the raw ingredients are literally <laughs> inedible. So they <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why would you... I have so many fucking questions. Why would you... This Chinese stir fry features rocks as the main ingredient. People are supposed to suck off the flavors, then spit out the rocks. When the raw. <laughs> Why? What is the point of that? The ingredients are literally inedible. So the only thing you're actually eating and tasting is the chilies and the spice. Flavorful though. Don't get me started on bat soup again. Completely delicious. Why do shit libs obsess about foreign food? Well, it's basically the only barrel scraping benefit they can come up with when endorsing mass migration. They think effusively expressing their pretentious adoration for ethnic food makes them look cool, cultured, and cosmopolitan. Most of them are infantilized adult babies who are lazy and can't cook and are therefore completely dependent on foreign food takeaways. I don't know how to cook and have a shitty diet, therefore open the borders for more taco trucks. While being totally unfamiliar with actual examples of white food beyond ham sandwiches and margarita pizza Because they've never even experienced it, therefore it doesn't exist Yeah, why not just put the fucking sauce on like rice? Why are you sucking it off of a rock? Shit libs also think culture is merely cuisine or entertainment. They can't think beyond what they shove in their mouths or passively consume via their gamma wave adult brains. Mocking leftist pretensions is one of the most powerful activisms possible. You are hereby evicted from the Society of Sophisticated Worldly Cosmopolitan Failure to think Slop de la Comunidad is high culture is subject to immediate tagging with a racist provincial ankle bracelet. Well, if you're going to collectively stereotype all white people western food with facile pejoratives, just be prepared to get a bit back. Hmm. But setting aside for a moment questions of taste, issues with hygiene, problems with artificial additives, could this argument over whether less diversity means poorer food options be settled another way. Hmm. Honestly, this is how Mexican good looks like, huh? Yeah, I would never want to eat like local Chinese food. That shit would be spooky, bruh. That shit would be absolutely fucking spooky. No, thank you. All right, let's see. <clears throat> the former smoker. Oh, God. I have it up on my other tab. All right, iSiler, let's do your PSYOP shit real quick. This looks like Korean though, so the way you can tell if something's Korean or not is they have like the letter, or not the letter, the uh, number zero. It's not an O. That is the number zero. So if you ever want to tell if something's Chinese, Japanese, or Korean, the best way to tell if it's Korean is if they have that like zero symbol in the words. Because, you know, the Chinese and Japanese don't use that. Just a uh, quick little uh, tip, I guess. All right, the next psyop. This is definitely a psyop right here. That is definitely a psyop. K 
K-pop idols that considered ugly in South Korea. Let's see if I agree. Yeah, I kind of agree. Yeah, dude, she's fucking ugly. Yeah. Ugly. Yup, ugly. Yup. Dude, what is this fucking music? Yeah, they're pretty much all ugly. I kind of agree. I think the Koreans have it right, personally. I think they're all ugly. To be completely honest, guys. You know? I think those are some fugly ass bitches. Hold up, where was it? <clears throat> <coughs> Shit, man. Mm -mm -mm. Give me a second. Trying to find. Oh, here we go. The first. Here we go. Let's watch some Spider Soy. The first deep dive review of Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 5 accidentally leaked onto the internet today, including details to the combat, the bosses, the entirety of the story itself. Uh, let's see. I've been chiefing with the five. Bobby Kotick is definitely playing Laughing at the Bank by Chief Keefe in his Rolls Royce. Yup. Well, he's getting like, I think, 500 to 700 million once this deal closes, just in his shares alone. Not to mention, if he does leave the company, he gets this massive fucking bonus for executing this thing. So, yeah, he's going to leave a fucking billionaire. And Jacob Novick with the 20 new CMA just approved the ABK. Yeah, they already said they were. So. They approved it like two weeks ago. Today is just the formal like date, but yeah, they approved it two weeks ago. So this was just kind of like the deadline that they had to put out their release. And Lord Pothead Investor, why can I not fucking read your thing? Give me a second. Um, no wonder COVID happened. Yep, they have those wet markets over there, but COVID was made in a fucking lab by the Chinese. So that's the unfortunate thing. It was a bioweapon that they accidentally leaked because they have no fucking actual, like, safety standards. <laughs> and I want to discuss this in a spoiler-free fashion because I had a chance to watch this review before it got <clears throat> Thanos snapped out of existence. So, let's discuss. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already... I'm pretty sure that everybody is pretty much counting the seconds till this game comes out. I mean, even posts about how I'm big not. it's going to be are going viral right now. Now, this is a big old BV boy. I'm purposely not going to discuss the story simply because people are actually posting stuff about the ending, what happens to the characters. We're not going to go into that. Instead, I think it's just funny that currently the dev team, this is one of the uh, head community people, they are taking down videos left and right. Apparently people are even live streaming this game. Somebody posted the first four hours of the game. Today though, let's talk about the review that accidentally got posted. We're going into this, but real quick, maybe you're hungry. Let's talk about the sponsor of this video, Factor. This time Ooh. of year is incredibly busy because we have to play video games, do holiday stuff. Ah, uh, yes. I'm incredibly busy because I have to play video games and do holiday stuff. Oh, my life is so rough. Maybe go on vacation. Oh, my God. 
I'm so busy because I'm playing video games, doing holiday stuff, and going on vacation. Yeah, two of those things you don't do if you're busy, and that's playing video games and go on vacation. <laughs> and sometimes trying to actually find the time to cook becomes incredibly difficult. It does not. And that's why I'm happy to be partnering with Factor. These are fresh, never frozen meals that are delicious and ready in just two minutes. But more importantly, I love the fact that they have so many different... Wait, is he wearing a pride shirt? Yeah. Just two minutes. That's obviously a fucking pride flag. But more importantly, I love the fact that they have so many different dietary options, like the calorie smart meals, which are full giant portions for under 550 calories. Mmm. Look how much fucking sodium is in that. Jeez. Calories. There's stuff like the Protein Power Plus, which is good when you're trying to bulk up. Dude, that looks like such slop. For my personal favorite this month is I've been super into these wonderful smoothies they have. I really cannot recommend it enough, but if you want to try it for yourself, you can use my coupon code for a good deal if you go to factor75.com and put in Dreamcast50 at checkout, you will get 50% off your first box. It is just so good. I highly recommend it. Once again, that's factor75.com with coupon code Dreamcast50. So eat up. And now let's get back to the video. Anytime there's a really big game that's about to come out, there's always like a countdown to the embargo. This is the time specifically when reviewers are allowed to talk about how good or bad the game is. Well, the review embargo is actually Monday, but Game Explain, the classic Nintendo people, somehow were reviewing this and they posted their thoughts on the game four full days early. Now, the just quick and loose of it is that they absolutely love That's it. a good sign that the uh, reviews are going live several days before the game comes out. That means they're pretty confident about it. So for everyone excited for Spooderman, this is a good sign. Whenever game developers want you to see the reviews several days before the game comes out, that's generally a good sign. Loved it. They said the game is mind-blowing. Uh, one of the guys said it's probably going to end up being his favorite game of all no time. he's gonna give this shit a 10 out of 10 bro he's like literally the biggest spider-man fanboy on planet earth like this dude literally has like spider-man t-shirts and underwear and a fucking spider-man ps5 and a custom spider-man controller like bro nah this dude is one of the biggest little like spider fans out there time there was two separate guys talking about how they felt about it and basically one guy gave it a 10 one guy gave it a 9 but the person who said it's his favorite game ever he's very reasonable about it he said hey a lot of times when it comes to a game that's incredibly good that's incredibly well built you need to let it digest so he said instant feeling about it after having rolled the credits he said it's a 10 out of 10 but he said that score may drop down to a 9.5 after he's digested it for a couple months but yeah it's like when i finished uh starfield and thought it was a 7 out of 10 and i let it digest a little bit and now i'd say it's closer to a 5 or a 6 so that's pretty accurate in all honesty First impression 10 out of 10 after beating it is pretty strong. They said that it's potentially one of their favorite games of all time, said it's impactful as a superhero game right now thanks to how the story and gameplay mesh together. The hype is real. Now, I actually found somebody that did a nice little uh, point by point. Yeah, Dreamcast guy gets his friends to shoot ropes on him so he knows what it feels like to be a victim of Spider-Man's vicious assault. Point breakdown. Again, there's absolutely no spoilers. I have a cat trying to climb into my lap. Let me pick you up, Jimmy. What? Are you, what are you doing? What? Okay, I'm trying to film a video right now. Okay, I'm gonna put you back down there. Um, the okay, first I'm thing that actually down, makes yeah. me the most excited is they talk about how much the combat has improved. And another thing they said here is that the gadgets being used are part of a hotkey system. You can pick out the gadgets you like most and assign uh, four of them. At yeah, I'm glad I don't baby talk my dog. Me and him have a, a nice relationship of where we bully each other, so. 
Hell yeah. Uh, Brit with the two. Mario Wonder greater than Final Fantasy 16. It may sell better, but I don't think it's going to be as good. At a time to your different stuff. So you can't spam your gadgets, but it makes it where it's more strategic. This to me sounds so good. Anybody who watched my previous review for Spider-Man 2018 or my review of Spider-Man Miles Morales, my only real complaint about the game itself was that it did feel too easy. Even when you turned the difficulty up, I honestly felt like the games were so easy to just swing around and beat people up, other than bosses, of course. It always felt like I was not motivated to go in and customize how my weapons are going to work or <gasps> even go a lot into the of personal lot and heartfelt moments in the game. Oh, God, dude. Oh, shit. We're going to have a good time playing this, guys. We can enjoy the Marvel Soylent moments together. A lot of times it felt like I was playing it and it's fun and I absolutely love the story, but it didn't feel tough. I like the fact that the combat being tougher and the fact that a lot of enemies need a specific type of gadget to beat them up, that sounds freaking so fun. But no, it sounds like fucking obnoxious game design. Anyway, let's go on to this. There's a lot more personal and heartfelt moments in the game, even in side quests. Now, obviously, this does not surprise me because the main story and the side quests in the previous two games are freaking fantastic. I mean, in, a in Malcolm and Morale, bro, that game was mid. Buddy who got the scarf unlocked in Spider-Man Miles Morales knows just how good these side quests can be. But man, the fact that it's still there, I like the fact that in... Dude, the most exciting thing about Spider-Man Malcolm and Morales was literally the fact that you could get a fucking skin in the game where he was wearing Tim's. That was the most exciting thing in that entire game. It was incredibly bland, very boring, and I was glad it was fucking over in the five hours I spent with it. Getting the Tim's was the highlight of that fucking game. Somniac knows how to weave together good narratives that are superhero focused that still feel human. I've talked about this in the past, but you know, Peter Parker, the whole idea of Spider-Man is by far my favorite superhero ever because he is just a dude. He's not trying to fly through the universe. He's not. A He's just a dude, bro. He has superhuman strength, can shoot webs out of his fucking wrist and has fucking spider senses. What do you mean? Oh, he's just a normal guy. Oh my God. He's just like me. I could be Spider-Man. Flavel Nugget with the two. The black suit will have more exaggerated swagger. I hope so, man. I need to express myself with my web slinging to a nice urban beat. A god, he's just a guy who happens to have powers, but is trying to get a promotion and do his research and maybe get some smooches on the side. I love that. The fact that they're saying there's improved Yeah, I can relate to it so much, guys. It's awesome. Uh, okay, solid state drive, no loading, that's cool. Okay, here's the part of this, though. There's a new parry system? Parry. <laughs> No. ...is apparently really fun. That's bizarre to me. I can't even imagine Peter Parker parrying a punch, but, I mean, I'll take that, just like Peter Parker can pound me any day. This is so cool. I told y'all. I told y'all he's obsessed with Spider-Man, bro. This shit's getting the 10 out of 10. Cool. I wonder if that's only... Like I said, Dreamcast guy wants his buddies to come over and shoot their ropes all over his back so he knows what it feels like for Spider-Man to, like, you know, do his work on him. In boss fights, a bullet point that's not listed on this uh, little break down here is that the reviewers, there's two guys talking, both of them said straight up the boss fights are 
freaking top notch. Uh, that again sounds good. I liked the boss fights in the previous two games a lot. I didn't. So the fact that they improved that, I do seriously think that it is at least possible that this might win some Game of the Year awards, which is. Dude, you weren't. <laughs> If you think that's a like too detailed gay joke, then you obviously weren't alive during the era of when the original Spider-Man trilogy came out, and there was all sorts of fucking gay jokes everywhere about Spider-Man. There was literally like fucking magazines, like there were parody magazines in Walmart of like Spider-Man hanging from a fucking crane with the web coming out of the tip of his dick. Like, you didn't see his dick, but you knew where it was coming from. Like, there was all sorts of weird fucking shit back in the day about Spider-Man being a fucking homo. So I have seen and heard a lot of shit over the years. Yeah, it was in Walmart. Then there was another one where he had a web coming out of his asshole, too. But, again, you don't see it, like, actually coming out of his ass, but you can tell the web is coming from his ass. <clears throat> kind of crazy to consider because I mean the previous two games were good <laughs> they were really really good but I don't know uh, the previous games kind of got stuck hard at 90 uh, Metacritic reading this I do think this might get a 92 on Metacritic or a 93 on Metacritic which Spider-Man back shots of the, that's right. games of the entire year coat me in your spider web Spider-Man man this is the last thing they talk about here is the fact that the game is apparently about 18 to 25 hours long. It just depends on how many side quests you do and how much you enjoy. I didn't know the webs would be this warm. Oh, they're kind of wet too. Just uh, hanging out uh, while you're trying to get to the end. The review people suggested this is the best quality open world you will ever play <clears throat> and you're not going to get bored or have any filler content like Final Fantasy 16. Wow, shots fired there. Wow, man. This just sounds so freaking good. I had some high expectations for Spider-Man 2. I mean, I'm a big Spider-Man fan, but additionally, Told I think a lot of us are curious because this is the first game by PlayStation built for the PS5. And from the This game is not built for the PS5. This shit looks like a PS4 game. Stop the fucking cap. They said Ratchet and Clank was built for the PS5 and was only possible on the PS5 SSD. Well, you can play that shit on a fucking Steam Deck. It could have easily run on the PlayStation 4. This game is not graphically impressive. It looks like a PlayStation 4 game. Stop the cap. The review itself, from what I heard of it, one of the guys actually said... This confirms my faith in the future of Sony. It's a third-person action game that's centered, it's focused, it's fun, it's big, and all of it has that shine of quality. It is just wild to me that Insomniac Games keeps dropping these bangers. Insomniac is just absolutely the kings of PlayStation right now. People actually even made this meme that I decided to tweet out where right now there's the PlayStation 5 Yo. and it's being held up by Insomniac Games. I mean, uh, there ain't really no is. denying it, the fact that I like other PlayStation games, but Insomniac are the kings. Spider-Man sells for a reason. But what do you guys think about this? Are you excited for Spider-Man 2? Are you counting the seconds till Spider-Man 2 like I am? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you're going to be playing it at midnight, tell me what you want to do first. And if you're playing as Miles Morales or Peter Parker first, man, I am so ready for this. Sony, please don't take this video down. I'm just, I'm just reading leaks, right? That's legal. Leaks are still legal, right? They're do I have to play as both or can I pick a character to play as for the entire game? Because I don't know. I would prefer if I didn't have to play as both. There's a chance this video is going to get deleted, so be sure to like it and subscribe. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep dreaming.
thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck. Damn it, it'll make me, like, play as a certain one. That's fucking cringe. Hmm. Me no like. Alright, I guess we have time to do this real quick, and then I need to hop off, so. Why is Brit sexually attracted to DSP? Because she's got that Chris Chan energy, and DSP is a uh, semi-attractive, financially independent um, adult male with his own house, his own car, a loyal internet fan base, a producer of positive content, and is the father figure she so desperately craves. Come back inside the store for me. Bring your card. Bring, bring your card. Come back inside the store. I don't want to embarrass you in the parking lot. Bring, bring your card. Come back inside the store, please. Okay. Thank you. Bring your card inside the store, please. I'm coming inside the store. Now. I am coming out. I don't know what you're for. What are you looking for? Go back to this door right here. Ma'am, push the car inside the store. I'll put my car inside the store before I snap. All right, go ahead and pull your card up over here for me. Okay, so what are y'all talking about? What, okay. what is it? Because it's two turns. Do you have an ID on you? No, no, no. But I can okay, tell you my so, name. Okay, so let's stop right now, okay? I'm stopping you for shoplifting. If you want to leave out of here, you're going to change your attitude. Stop, 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 stop. If you want to leave out of here, you're going to change your attitude. Okay. If not, I'll just take you to the county because I really don't care. I don't go to jail. You don't? Because you what can't I'm today. What I'm telling you is I, I don't go to jail. I don't have a record. But what I'm telling right, you Right, but what I'm with, telling what you is today what you can I make your way with? to the county. What did I make? Number one I is this purse and also the clothes in this cart that you bagged up at the register. So I let's 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 I, change I, the tone. <laughs> okay. Let me tell you something. I scanned my motherfucking penny. And there's an employee here that motherfucking seen it. If you said I shot lifted my fucking penny. They're three dollars. Oh I don't I, I don't sit up there and fucking spot all of day. That's why exactly I don't come here. I don't, do not come to this Walmart because y'all be on bullshit. If that's the case, you could have easily said. Okay, first of all, stop. Stop all that. Back, back, away, back away from the cart, ma'am. Back away from the cart. I'm okay? backing away. Give me your Where's your receipt one. at? My receipt is right here. Okay, give me your receipt. Because I have two transactions. Okay, excellent. There's that, Miss Daisy. Okay. <clears throat> this purse does not belong to you. This purse belongs to the store. I watched you take this off the shelf and turn the tags off. These do not belong to you. This does not belong to you. I watch you put this inside the purse. Please I'm don't not, grab any of the stolen merchandise. But Please my, but don't grab wallet. anything out of the purse, okay? okay? go ahead. You got that? Thank you. I can go into my wallet. No, you cannot. Not right now. Mean? Because Bro, I just can't imagine being so fucking down bad that you're stealing shit from fucking Walmart. For a lawful reason, no, you cannot go into your wallet. I don't know what's inside your wallet. Please step over here, okay? Okay, that's it. Ms. Daisy, just I'm going to walk turn, her down to the can office you and then we'll can come. You, can, you, can you just tell her to put my money back on my card? Walk this way for me, please. Walk this way for me, please. Walk this way. Back on my walk this way. You'll get this in a second. Walk this way. I, I would tell I'll just stand here. Let's walk this, this, this way. Ma'am, leave everything in the car and walk this way. I'm going to pay $300 for all my stuff. Walk this way. Please don't be aggressive. Walk this way. Please don't be aggressive. Pay attention to what I'm telling you then. I am paying attention to what you Please walk this way. That's frustrating. You tell me what you thought, what you watched. Okay, you got what you wanted. Let it go. Because everything else I paid for. I have never, never. Been called? Been Excellent. No, not been called. You've been Yes, I am. And, and Glad you picked up on it. Step inside. You're going to have a seat over here on this bench. I'm, Step inside, have a seat on the bench. Step inside, have a seat on the bench. I'm only going to tell you one more time. Step inside, have okay, a seat I'm on the bench. I'm going to step inside, and you're going to let me out. I'm going to step inside. She got what she wanted. That's the case. Here go my food stamp card. Give me back all my money on them. And I will leave. Have a seat. Have a seat. No, you're going to have a seat. Can you please respond my money? So everything that's in your heart, 
Ma'am, has AC. I'm sorry, I'm ready to go. I You're not going anywhere right now. And I'm tired. What is this? You need to communicate. I've already told you what you've been stopped for. Okay, you said shoplifting with the purse and you didn't pay for your pen. That's correct. And I paid for everything else. I'm not sold by my okay, pen. that's fine. So they're going to okay, go through so the car. Okay, you want me to pay for the pennies, swipe my well, card. I know, I said oh, put go it ahead my and go okay. ahead and just refund me my money back and I'll go somewhere else. It's okay. simple. It's common sense. Then why didn't you pay for the shit in the first place? Don't, don't, don't come at me like this because I'm not a fucking thief. I don't have a record being a thief. Okay, but you got caught stealing today, right? I got caught stealing today. Okay, and that justifies your situation. Cool. No, it justifies so your situation, ma'am. No, it doesn't work that way. What doesn't work that way? You don't just get to leave. Why do I not get to leave? Because, because you're being stopped. I'm being I don't, I don't understand why this is so okay, hard for you to understand. Well, Where's my wallet? First is I have your wallet. The, okay, can I have my wallet? The, no, you cannot. Well, can, okay, you can keep that. I'll, I'll get something on you. Because what I want to do, me. don't bump me, ma'am, because I, I told you I didn't do to stop it. and have a seat. Okay, I am going to have a seat. Why are you being aggressive? You because you're stop, hurting my arm. Stop, I'm going to take you to the ground. Sir, first of all, I'm going to bite your medical Stop, I'm going to take you to the ground. I'm telling you right now, if you do not stop tensing up, I'm going to take you to the ground. I'll go sit down. No. Now you're going to get put in cuffs. For what? Stop tensing up, I'm going to take you to the ground. Turn around. Turn around. This is some bullshit. You do not have to put me in cuffs. I will comply and go sit my Turn ass back down. Turn around now. And bump me again like that. The and eternal I'm victim I'm complex. I told you to stop. What the fuck is you doing that song? You sit up here. No, you not. You not. Turn you not. Oh, oh shit. You not finna sit up here and put me on my fucking face and I'm a fucking woman. You break, you break something. On the ground now. On the ground now. On the ground now. On the ground now. Back on my arm like that. On the ground now. Oh my god. On the ground now. Oh. oh. Call, call my motherfucking lawyer. You don't have a lawyer. Call, call my dad. I did not try to break no teeth. Get off me and I cannot breathe. You'll be able to turn just a second. Give me your other arm. I can't breathe. Oh no. George Floyd 2.0, guys. She can't breathe. Be careful. Sir, get off me now. You don't lost your mind. What is your name? I think Ain't it's funny. Name? Like, every single time this happens, from all these videos we watch, that is the, like, repeated line that always comes out now. Flipper come out my fucking mouth. Move. Like, any time we watch one of these cop videos where somebody gets arrested like this, they always say, I can't breathe. Like, <laughs> they're trying to become the next fucking, you know, martyr so they can get all that fucking BLM money. No. If I can't, if you wait. Stand up. Damn. Okay, Stand give up. me a second. Bitch, you don't make me hit my fucking Nine, face. 9 68 West Palm Star Supervisor. Have a seat. She's something from my mouth. So, too. Uh, Have a seat. Mind your bitch. Mm -hmm. Tell me why I'm sticking something in my fucking mouth. Broke my fucking pinky. What the fuck? Have me, a seat. Give me my refund. Give me my refund. So I can get out of here now. Because I got to go to work tomorrow. Give me my refund now. I'm okay. Because the way you slapped me on my motherfucking face. Have a seat. Why are you slapping me on my face? My Have face a seat. Hurt. Have a my seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Now. Don't bump my head. Have a seat. Don't bump my head. Have a seat. Are you don't going back on the ground? Head. Stay seated. I am seated. And do not get up. Those nasty I ass eyelashes, bruh. You don't even supposed to handle a woman wait, like that. Wait, how are you? I'm good. Wait, good? Yeah. You ain't acting like one. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Now you're gonna get fucking uh charged with resisting, so The fuck you gonna do? Cause if you was my man, I'll slap you dead in your shit for putting your hand on the female. You got me fucked up. Cause I ain't never been in motherfucking trouble. I'm not no trouble maker. Then why are you stealing shit? I know that. Can you move up? up? Cause it's bad enough she bought me. She always fucking our cracker. So I'm telling you right now, you can sit there and you can pose if you want to. Call your granddaughter or whoever you want. Cause I guarantee you, I ain't gonna lose. Can you give me my stuff? No, I'm mad. I don't want to shop here no more. And I will speak to corporate. Don't worry about it. That's a teeth. Oh, that was it? It's a resident telling to you. You mind giving her a call back? Like a bridge? A bridge or something? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I like nails. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Travis, I'm just ready. Dude, if I was in charge of the law, I would just reinstate Hammurabi's code. You know, you steal, you lose a fucking hand. You kill someone, someone of equal value in your life dies as well. Or you die. You know, I'm very much a intimidation type punishment person. Because if you have weak ass punishments, why would anyone be afraid of breaking the law? Like, if the only punishment you're going to have for, like, stealing is going to prison for a night or two, do you really think someone who's stealing gives a fuck? Nope. <laughs> who gives a shit? That's not going to, like, impact their life in any meaningful way. But if you chop off their fucking hand, I guarantee you they'll think twice about it. And everybody who sees them walking around without a fucking hand is going to think, oh, shit, I don't want to lose my hand. I'm not going to steal anything. That ain't worth it. So, I don't know, bruh. The ancients had it right. Midnight Mawa with the two. Spider-Man 2 looks good, but COD MW3, though. Game of the Year material. Hell yeah, man. And Fluffle Nugget with the two. If she wasn't prideful, he may have let her go. Exactly. If she would have actually cooperated, maybe they would have given her a warning. Who knows? Or made her pay for the stuff, and then they would have, like, let her walk. But... Yeah, no, she's being a fucking entitled bitch. They're calling two Bravo six. And he still have not yet losing his stuff. So if I cut up and I act a fool, it's on you. No, it's on you. It ain't on me. It because is. I act politely to unloosen my stuff. The cops are all right, man. To unloosen my... It, how? What you mean, how? Do you see this? Do you see that it's eating me? I can't. I can't Do you see, see that I got red marks? No, I can't. I don't see it. <laughs> Your shirt open. Okay. Your shirt open. And then my shirt is my jacket because he slammed me in my face. That's why he made my foot look at my... Cause I'm over him. Straight up. What kind of medication? Straight up. I'm taking no medication. What do you mean? No. Do I look like I'm diagnosed with anything because I'm a black woman? No. He is. She is, and she's very pissed off. What do you mean? I have anxiety. I don't know. I'm just trying to be. I have anxiety. Doom Boom with a five was detained in Saudi Arabia airport for too much cash on hand. If I acted like that lady, it would probably be some time in jail. Oh, absolutely. Especially in an Arab country, man. They do not fuck around with anything. And if you disrespect, like, any authority there, yeah, they toss you in the fucking gulag, essentially. Yeah, right. You're definitely a ghetto asshole. You're stealing from fucking Walmart. That's literally the definition of a ghetto asshole. What the fuck? That's like bottom of the fucking barrel. 
If you're stealing from a fucking Walmart, taking three dollar panties in a purse, you are the definition of a fucking ghetto ass hoe, bro. I hope your wife <laughs> like shit. Yeah, I bet you don't. It shows. Your wallet's right here. No, my purse. That purse belongs to Walmart, ma'am. Your other purse is still in the store where you set it at. Okay, go get it. I'm not gonna do that. If you're not gonna go get it, then what you want me here for? I'm not concerned with the purse that you came in with, ma'am. Okay, what do you want me here? Answer my question. Again, you're here for shoplifting, is what I told you when I first stopped you. Not shoplifting because I ain't scared three pennies in the purse. Hold on, she brought before I need to I get everything else. What you want the money for? Let me go. Oh my god, down. now she wants to pay for it. That's nothing. I don't even fucking steal. It what a dumb bitch, man. 22. 22. I'm calculating it for you. Yeah. Uh, do you want the guy and the ladies you you're with to take, take your wallet? stuff? What do you mean? Take your wallet. They're going to take your wallet. Do you want your family to take your wallet? For what? Because you've been arrested, man. Because you're being arrested. Being arrested for what? You're going to jail. Yeah. Why am I going to jail? It's an easy question. Do you want your family to take your personal property? Or I would do you want rather, them to take my personal property. Or would you rather put it in the bag and have it taken to county? So what do you want us to do? I'm telling you, what am I going to jail for? Ooh. Have you been arrested for shoplifting and resisting? Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't even resist you. You're lying. You need, you need to delete that. I did not resist the rest. I would never resist the rest. I did not resist I did not resist the rest. What are you talking about? You need to delete that. No, I saw it. He actually had a clear back. You need, you need to delete that. Did you? You can give me my you can give me, you can give me my family yeah. myself because that's a fucking lie. And I need to get my stuff on my fucking purse to take my fucking medication before I fucking snap. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, I'm not going to go. You, you might as well run. Tackle me, kill me. Then just tell my kids I love them. Simple as it. I don't give a fuck. Because what I'm not going to do is go to jail. I can tell you that right now. She don't have a problem. If that's the case, pay for the purse. Why is it a big problem? That's, that you, you, you're talking about something that's over. Why didn't you pay for the purse in the first place then if it isn't a problem? Oh, because you're an entitled bitch. Under $25. You're not even trying to help. You're talking about you coming in here to fix the fucking problem to get it resolved. And then you're talking about I'm resisting arrest. How the fuck am I resisting arrest when you snap me on my face? Man, call the EMT. Call the EMT. Take a seat, man. Call the EMT now. Before I buck out this door and I give y'all a real reason to arrest me. You're not going to do that, ma'am. I swear to God, I am on my dad ass mama. What's your and my mama's <laughs> death anniversary is on the motherfucker. No, she's threatening a fucking cop on camera. What a dumbass. I can't. This is a truly intellectual individual, guys. I'm not playing with y'all. It's Saturday. No, no, I got to go to work tomorrow. Are you not listening? If you say you want the medics, I have to tell them what you're complaining. My complaint is what you did. Tell them what you did. You know what the fuck you did. Don't talk to me. Cause you sit up the line time I resisted arrest. Why would I just a fucking arrest? You ignorant. <laughs> and you want to sit up and do this? I'm yeah, not you going ignorant. To jail. I'm, you I'm not going to jail with them hoes. I'm not going to jail. I got to go to work tomorrow. I'm not going to lose my job. I just got the social job. I just got my sins. My motherfucking urgent care position. I'm not doing this with y'all. It's seat, a man. fucking Friday. Take a seat, man, please. No problem. What is your, uh, your seat? Man, please. Hey, I appreciate you. I, I'm, I'm, done. I'm 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 gone. Why are you arresting me? You said shoplifting. I did not do any of that. Besides Laura Pond and Investor with the two, they need to remove that little bomb drone in MW3. Um, I don't know. I haven't really been bothered by it too much. But I've only been killed by it like once or twice. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm not taking shit. I'm not going to jail. I gotta go to work tomorrow. Take a seat, please, ma'am. Sir, you're gonna have to kill me. I'm ready to die. Don't say that. I'm ready to die. No, don't say that. Oh, my God. Nah, you said you miss your mom. He would let think, me go. Think, How am I going to see my mama if I'm in jail? Uh, How am I going to go to a grave site? How am I going to work both of my job? How? What the fuck is in him? I don't want that on my record. Okay, well, let's go one step at a time, all right? He's going to fuck up my whole career. Let's go one step at a time. You fucked up your own career, you dumbass. You don't give a fuck about anyone else's career when you stole shit. He has every right to see what the fuck is going on. No, ma'am, he does not. Yes, he does. Because he's my daughter. He's your what? He's, he's my daughter. He's not my daughter. He's whatever I need him to be. 
Because that doesn't matter. He's over me. He's older than me. He knows. He's I don't your, trust him being here with y'all, and y'all not listening. And then he said resisting arrest. How the fuck can I resist arrest? You trying to make me a criminal because I'm a black woman, bro. I'm telling you, if I was white, oh you would let that hoe go. God. Let me go. Let me go. Not true, ma'am. It was literally a black cop that it stopped is. her too, which I'm makes running. this even better. No, ma'am. I swear to God, you're gonna you're gonna kill me today. No. You're gonna kill me today. Stick a seat, man, please. You're gonna kill. Oski will ask you with the two. Oh my god, you're just asking for it, honestly. This bitch is so fucking dumb. Yeah, I'm a gamer! Zero for Alvatron with the two. In a lot of cases, cops are too underpaid. Yeah, well, cops don't get paid shit, man. They are very lowly paid. Especially in, like, the uh, entry positions. Kill me today. No, ma'am, we're not. You're gonna kill me today. No, ma'am, we're not. Yeah, go I need my anxiety medication before I pass out. Oh my god, dude. What a fucking psycho bitch. I'm telling you, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Because this is ridiculous. I've never had this in 30 years. I would never have the patience for this type of shit, bro. If you want somebody to fix the situation, all you had to do was say fix it. Pay for it and keep it moving. Leave me alone. You want to put up here, I'm resisting arrest. Do you know how bad that is? There are just some people so that are, you, to do? are not well, worth the trouble. I did. You didn't just put that away. Yes, sir. You don't have to do that. I'll go sit right down. No, 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 no. You finna get it. You finna get it. Yeah, you finna get it. Hit me on my face again, boy. One thing I'm gonna play about is my face. I just want to go. I just want to go. I know you do, man. He want to put resistant arrest. He can grab my wallet and I'll pay for it. Tell the lady I apologize and she will never see me again. I want to go. Too right, bad. I'm advising you that from uh, this day for up to a year, you are trespassed from uh, Walmart I don't here. Care. I don't want to be here. That's fine. You're just being advised that you, you trespassed. I'm not for a year. I'm not signing shit. Not asking you to. And I'll be in here again. Walmart is racist. Okay. I'll be Bruh, I I'll wish I had that video still. So. I will arrest I you. I changed my hairstyle. You won't even know who I am. Okay. Is the EMT coming? Yeah. Where's the EMT at? Okay, where, where at, where at, where at in the parking lot? I'll be back. So I can go and show them this, and I can show them that my niece. You want to go out this door already? I, I can open this one up. Oh, I can open this one. Where my brother is at, and everybody, you can come through, I'm skinny. You can come through, and I'm going to let them know that. I am. Where they at? Where's the EMT, sir? They're in the other corner of the parking lot. What, what, what other corner? I don't even, I don't even see my parking lot. No, I'm not Now, please. Call my brother now. Call my brother Mark. now, please. Because you didn't Watch even call. Hand. You Watch did not even call EMT. You did not even call EMT. I don't want to get in here. I don't want to get in here. For fucking what? Stop. What? Listen. For what? For what? For what? No, don't put no seatbelt on me. Don't put nothing on me. And y'all hurting my fucking hand. Stop oh my god. Stop your hand on my fucking neck. You better get your motherfucking hand off my fucking neck. You want to hop over now? I don't think she can uh, breathe, guys. This is uh, Garrick's truck, right? Uh, Garrick? Yeah. You got one? Oh, here it is. Hey, not hey. You're not gonna fucking run listen, you're doing this. Listen. Somebody. No, because y'all not respecting what the fuck I said. Hey, listen to me. No, no, no. If you don't stop, no, no, we are going to hobble no, your feet. No, no, no. You understand that? No, no, no. Tell them I want an MG right so now. So listen, you, keep you are going me. to see the nurse at the jail. I don't want to see no nurse. Okay? I don't want to see no nurse. The nurse has more training. The nurse has more training than a paramedic. She's going to die from asphyxiation? Wouldn't be the worst outcome. No, yes, they do. I'm a licensed it is a registered nurse. Then I'm you gonna, should know I'm that a registered like nurse that. has more training. Stop. It hurts. You got my whole, you got my whole back. You could have put, you could have put the handcuffs in the front. What am I gonna do no, that's in the front? Too. What I'm gonna do in the front? Now, listen to me. If you don't stop, we are going to hobble your feet. That means that we are going to take this I mean, cord and lock know, your feet together. Go okay? Go the jail is 10 go minutes away. Flow. You can sit back because here for 10 minutes and go to the jail. Because y'all did this. And then you said, oh, I resisted arrest. Ms. Herndon. Why would you say that? Ms. Herndon. Why would you say that? Ms. Herndon. Why would you say that? You, you, you're Again, not going to get me Herndon. out of jail. I have I'm not getting you out of jail. Oh I'm not getting you out of jail. I have two jobs tomorrow. Oh Listen, Why would you not do that? Why would you not do that? Holy fuck. I got to go to the door so we can pull around the Don't touch me. I don't need y'all to put, don't do anything. I'm fine. 
I'm are you fine. so are leave you are you going to relax back leave here? Me, just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Cuz I'm not going in there. To, I mean, she's saying she's gonna relax. I'm not going to there. Get these cuffs from behind my back into the fucking front. Cause when you slay this car, you're slinging my wrist, and if my wrist get broken, so yeah. And she's saying she's gonna go. We don't gotta wrestle with her. All right, wrestle All right. with her. Let's see. What a fun What's ride, man. You put the seatbelt on. If she took the seatbelt off. Yep. That's on her. All right. All right. Thank you. Yep. No problem, buddy. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, that'd be a long fucking 10 minutes in the car. Jesus. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and hop off. It is 3.30 for me, so I'm going to head to bed. Have a wonderful Friday, everyone, and start to your weekends. Appreciate y'all coming out, and I will talk to everyone later. Peace out, everybody. Jesus fucking Christ. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, you fucking virgin losers. God damn. Go get a life. Go outside. Ha find meaning in your fucking life. Because they're angry and can't get pussy. So I have to do it to shut them the fuck up. Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck all of you. Shut the fuck up. You yeah, shut damn. the fuck up. Don't you fucking tell me to my face to shut the fuck up.